and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. All right, what were we doing? We had just gotten to the... We have reached the boundary of Arca in the next area. Um... And we've got 10 days left to the full moon. Three days left before the next uh, fridge opening, looks like. Uh, okay. We've got the monk we can hang out with. You know those couples who came down with Apathy Syndrome? It's like the next uh, shadow is going to be the lovers. It's a hot topic in my class. But I can't figure out why they've been attacking groups of two specifically. I just don't see the point. Is this all part of the shadow's plan? I hope we can figure something out with our investigation. Anyway, let's keep our chins up. What level am I? 23, 24, and 18. We probably need to level Junpei. I'm thinking of watching another boxing DVD here today. I need the courage for Fuka. It's a documentary about two champs who were rivals. Wait, that only gives me one... Well, it advances Akihiko's side story. So. Uh, I guess it's worth doing for only one point of courage. I heard that a lot of the people joining the Lost lately are couples. I'll try not to assume what they were doing together just before the dark hour. But anyway, it seems like... <laughs> Dirty mind, Yukari. But it seems like the next shadow is starting to make its move, doesn't it? Yo, what up? You're taking care of the planters up top, right? Mind if I give it a try? Girls are into slim dudes, right? Might be good to eat some vegetables after all. Uh... Shoot. Okay. Alright, let's go around town and see if there's any new dialogue. I need charm for Tanaka. Hey, what are you ha- Oh, it's you. You seem to come by a lot. Maybe I'll hire you if we need an extra hand. That's illegal in the States. Miners can't serve alcohol. I don't know about the legality of it in Japan. Her persona is the lover's arcana. That's true. Uh, let's... Okay, Akihiko, Junpei, or the Mug. Let's go with Junpei. And improve some crops. Alright. Vegetables I ever see at the store are plain old ordinary ones. You know those fancy veggies only people like Karijo Senpai would eat? If we could grow something like that, we'd make a fortune, don't you think? We can't grow at that scale, Junpei. You know what you're doing? Nope, not even a little. Tried growing some morning glories once, didn't think they'd die so fast. Oh, yeah, true. 
Joker worked at a bar. But you're pretty good with your hands, so I'll let you handle it. Sound good? You're gonna help, Jude Pay. Oh yeah, right, he didn't serve alcohol. Lala wouldn't let him because Lala is a responsible adult. The most responsible adult in the game. <laughs> Oh, I know, right? It's the worst. The extra care is paying off, and I can harvest more. But for the sake of June Pei's brand name, luxury veggies, I gotta keep going. I don't know how I could deal with all this on my own, so let's do this again, okay? Da -da 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 Of school today. Sounds like we're gonna hang with Maya! And also the shopping channel. Alright, so the 30th? Oh no, 7 to 6. Okay. There's nobody around today either. I wonder if they're all the outdoorsy type. I relate to Fuka super hard. She just wants to stay inside using her laptop all day. Good for her. Maya. Oh, we will not rank up with Maya. But we only have today to hang out with Maya every Sunday, so we might as well... Well, we can do any day off, but still, it's limited, so we're going to hang out with Maya today. The victims of apathy syndrome can never get their normal lives back. Do you think that's true or not? That's BS. You got it. The symptoms of the syndrome vary from person to person, according to my hard-won information. Unconsciousness, loss of vitality, aphasia, mental decline. However, some only got minor symptoms and are back to a normal life already. Wait, are we not healing all the apathy syndrome people or are only some of them getting back to normal? Oh. Fuga's your favorite Navi? It's going to be hard to beat Futaba. Oh, Weaver-kun. Amada-kun was just telling us about the elementary school dorm. Speaking of which, Weaver-san lives in the school dorms too, doesn't he? Yep, that's right. He lives in the same dorm as me, Yucatan, and the others. What? It's okay for boys and girls to stay in the same dorm? Well, our situation's special. Um, um, actually, it's usually not, but our dorm has some special circumstances. We're just cool like that, right, Lore? Hell yeah. Oh, wait, it's Sunday. Vending machine restocked. Thank you. 
Duplicate these skill cards at the Inari Shrine doesn't take time. Oh, right, that's what that's for. Uh huh. Does praying at the shrine get you a social link, or what does what does it do? I can't remember. Oh, once per day. Okay. What is it? Did you want a card? All right, I'll copy it for you. It's one of my hobbies these days. Just a skill card that's to your liking. Uh, you carry. Do this thing. Look at a skill card. Recarb card. Monetary offering gives you academics for money. It takes time, and I think it's got a little RNG to it. Noted. Alright, let's hang with Maya. Let's listen to the chorus of this song, then we'll hang with Maya. This song is rad. The music in this game is rad. We'll rank up next time we hang. Cool. I think to the right of the offerings box gives social link points. Oh, yeah, um, there's a feature like that in Persona 5, I believe? Noted. Nobody's... nobody's here? Right, I can hang with the monk. Ah, here they are. Looks like Kirijo Senpai and Sanada Senpai aren't around, so let's go to Tartarus some other time. I think I'll go to bed early tonight, since I usually stay up way too late. I feel that. I go to bed between 11 and midnight every night. Ahem. <laughs> Junpei the Wise has come to a startling conclusion. There is no top to Tartarus. Oh, he's finally snapped. I guess his brain has reached its expiration date. Actually, that's an interesting idea. It's almost philosophical. But wouldn't that create a big problem for us? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Alright then, Tartarus does have a top after all. Let's leave it at that. Real smart, Junpei. I wonder what's at the top of Tartarus. If this was an adventure novel, there'd probably be some kind of treasure. I got it! There's a giant piñata, and when you break it, candy pours out, and a huge banner that says, Congratulations! You've beaten Tartarus! Yeah, I'm sure that's it. Maybe there's, like, some sort of device. And once we destroy it, Tartarus will disappear. And then we'll fall out of the sky. Let's hang out with the monk. Your Hey, I remember you. I thought I told you not to come back here. Huh. Damn kids. Well, I don't care. As long as you don't get on my nerves. Have a seat. What you doing here today? Kid? Talking to you. I came to see you, old man. Quit joking around. 
around, kid. <laughs> That's a good one. Watch your mouth, kid. I am your elder, after all. I love how even the polite dialogue option is rude as hell. How should I address you? Muchatsu. That's my Buddhist name. Not my real one, of course. But that's Motatsu's son to you. Yeah, you got it. The world's not a forgiving place, kid. Buddhists that's take new names? I didn't know that was a thing. Not gonna happen, man. Morning. In about a week, there will be another mission. That's right. Yeah. I wonder what we'll face this time. Do we just keep going on these missions until we defeat all eight remaining shadows? Blindly following orders to get stronger by going to Tartarus and fight shadow after shadow? I've been thinking about this for a while. I feel like Kirijo Senpai is hiding something from us. Oh, buddy, she is. Please sit down so we can begin today's lecture. Ada Ada Lo Ada Dia. Or Io Ada Dia. I know you were expecting Miss Terra Uchi, but she's had an emergency. I'll be taking over class today. We're going to learn a bit about natural magic. It's not too dissimilar to paganism, which we've already discussed. Natural magic is, obviously enough, magic that draws its power from nature. The most popular form of this would probably be herbalism. Calendar-based spells are also a form of natural magic, since they involve the seasons. Now some of you may already be familiar with the dowsing, which uses a pendulum or rod to find things underground. This too is a form of natural magic, first used to detect sources of water. That's enough examples for now. Let's move on to the proper mindset for natural magic. First, you must recognize yourself as a part of nature and accept its power. In other words, think of humanity as a microscopic player within the cosmology of the universe. This mindset is based on the concept of the four classical elements. Ancient magicians believed that different objects sharing a common element would react to one another. They performed countless experiments attempting to prove their hypotheses about nature. Are you all listening? I certainly hope so. <laughs> Here's a little test to see if you were paying attention. You receive an ill omen if you get it wrong. Ada, ada, io, ada, dia. Okay, now who to pick today? Weaver, you have been called upon. What form of natural magic is used to find water sources? Dowsing. Correct. Excellent work. Your answer is correct. As for your omen, no news is good news. But back to the main subject. Prayer is considered integral to many forms of natural magic. One characteristic of natural magic prayer is that much of it is in praise of the Earth Goddess. This ties into the concept of natural magic as a way of invoking nature's blessing. As time passed, natural magic developed into natural science. In this transition, though, a key element was lost. The notion of time being controllable. Natural magic forbids the use of spells that go against the standard flow of time. Its practitioners believe that magic should not defy nature, and to this day take great care to follow natural law. Charm, I want academics, not charm. We 
can work at Chagall tonight for charm and uh, courage. Alright. Maiko, who I've been ignoring for a month and a half, sadly. Uh, the shop has a sale, but I don't care. Uh, Onigiri will not rank up. Cause will. And Maiko. Okay. Oh, alright. Let's do Cause. But we'll wander around first. Academics need to be genius. I wonder if that's rank four or five. So, duplicating a skill card costs me nothing. Let's get another Rakarm. Oh no, let's get another counter. Time will pass as you read your fortune. Okay. If your wand has been damaged, it may be repaired. Oh, so you can reverse or break them in, in reload. Okay. Fortune may have an effect on your wallet, for better or worse. Interesting. All right, noted. I imagine the fans would have rioted if they'd taken out uh, Link's reversing and breaking completely. Alright, Kaz. That's finally let out, huh? You leave it for practice now? Want to head to the track together? That's what I like to hear. Can't have you showing me up all the time. Time to put my game face on. All right, one more time. Oh, right, he's he's got voice dialogue. I'll show you what I'm made of. Damn it! Seriously. Okay, Ryuji. Miyamoto. Jeez, what happened? next year so you've got time just don't overdo it eat some meat man hey you uh, why don't you leave practice early and take him home yeah sure sorry what are you looking at I'm you're fine. not fine it's just uh my anemia is acting up is anemia a cover for something else are you going to be okay just 
you know, a touch of anemia. I don't believe you. Damn it. I can't do it. I can't lie to you. Look, the truth is, it's my knee. It hasn't felt right ever since that day you first came to practice. I tried medicine, I tried wrapping it, but the pain won't stop. Take a break from practice. No can do. And there's no way you're gonna make me. You'll just hurt yourself more, man. Heal. Next year, there's a national competition. Athletes from all over Japan will be there. The regionals don't hold a candle in comparison. And if I want to win, then I have to spend the next year training. A lot of guys on the team are nosy as hell. If they find out about my knee, they won't leave me alone. So please keep it a secret, okay? We gotta look out for each other. You're gonna get really badly hurt. on it I can make it home by myself don't worry about me you get on back to training hey sorry to bother you Fuka it's okay what's on your mind well uh, I was hoping you could do me a favor with your skill, I mean. Oh? I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. Ten years ago, a lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. They were reported as absent at the time, but I found some records that suggest otherwise. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. What year did Persona 1 and 2 take place? Persona 1, was that 99? Or was Persona 2 99? Wait, are you saying... I don't know, but I... Do I know Persona 1 came out in 97. Trying to make trouble or anything. But Kirijo Senpai acts kinda weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. Oh, Persona 1 and 2 were set in the year they came out? Okay, so this is a uh, this is talking about Persona 2 then. I understand. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. There's nothing interesting on the news. All right, lazy writers. Way, Stories about the lost have really picked up at school. My guess is that there's a shadow making its move out there. I guess our full moon theory was right. Ooh, things are getting even more interesting. If you have the time, would you care to join me for some tea again? I'd like to brew a different blend this time. It also happens to be one of my favorites. I see. Oh, Fuka's in the command room. I've got a message. If you'd like to go to Tartarus, please look for me there. Okay. So a hint that she's just a place we don't know where she is. Got it. Hey, guess what? I just borrowed some more of that manga from last time. I got way more volumes this time. Carrying them all was a drag, though. Wait, hang on. Vending machines in here do not have SP items, right? They do not. Okay. Uh, we have hit the border zone for Tartarus, yeah. Oh, 
hey, um, we're just talking about girl stuff, so... What's with that look? Can I join in? <laughs> what? But it's girl talk. So, no boys allowed. Maybe later, okay? Just not right now. Oh, we were just talking about girl stuff, that's all. It's not like I was asked to look into something or anything. It's really nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, Alright, I, I totally believe you, Fuka. Oh, one of the vending machines does. Okay. Is it the one on the right? No. Maybe on the second floor? Separate stocks? They do not. Okay. Alright, do we want to hang with Junpei or Mitsuru? Junpei would get me courage. Mitsuru would get me a healing item. I'm curious about Mitsuru. Oh, right. Wait, no, I should see what else I can do in town. No social links in town. Okay. I could work at Chagall for courage and charm and money. I'm good on money. Courage and charm is tempting, though. Mitsuru or Chagall? Let's see. Which do I want to do? Oh boy. Okay, Chagall. I do want to get to higher courage and higher charm for social links. Yeah, we'll work at Chigal tonight. rank 5 fearless oh my god I need max courage I need max courage for Fuka no way you need rank 6 courage for Fuka do you need rank 6 academics for Mitsuru is genius the max level Rank 6 is the max social link stat. Oh, lots of options, but only Chihiro will rank up. But we're not doing that today. Oh, boy. Okay. Aha! New dialogue. I was walking around the other day, and this weird guy walked up to me. He didn't wear a shirt, and he had weird tattoos. 
I tried to look away, but I accidentally looked right into his eyes. They were the coldest eyes I'd ever seen. And then he smiled at me. God, even thinking about it gives me shivers all down my back. If only it had been Kirijo Senpai, I would have fainted on the spot. Always find a way to turn that around into Mitsuro. Yeah, with only three social stats, I guess it is easier to break them up. Because you're not dividing your stats among your, your points among as many stats. So I guess it makes sense that you need max courage and max academics for Fuka and Mitsuru. Double check my requests. Are you accepting a request? Okay. Nothing that I need for a deadline. Good. Very well. All right. What skill cards have I got? Could make a mock hoha skill card. Yeah, let's make a mock hoha skill card. Were skill cards in OG Persona 3? Like one week to go. Skill cards were added in portable. Gotcha. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's hang with Keisuke. Oh. <laughs> I already sure I did something different in FES. I think it was something like Random Tartar spots. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we'll rank up next time we hang. Cool. Welcome back. Right, I haven't saved in a little bit. One of my classmates lent me a DVD of this show she's been watching. I've been curious about it for a while, and apparently it's gotten some pretty good ratings. Uh, oh, I've already heard this. Improve my charm. Um, there will be a full moon in a week. You do understand what that means, yes? I know. Good. Then make sure you're adequately prepared. I know Mitsuro said it already, but it'll be a full moon in just a week. Once you think about our time frame, the tension really starts rising, doesn't it? I'm sure you enjoy that. You enjoy the tension. 
Hmm, what's up with Yukatan? It's like she's glaring daggers every time she looks at Kirijo Senpai. That's true. Yeah. Right? I wonder what happened. Maybe Senpai ate Yukatan's last bonbon. Oh, oh, speaking of eating. Chill the Taiyaki. Da 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 da. doing? How are the rooftop planters doing? Uh, we can work at Chagall for stat ups. And we can hang with the monk. Oh no, that's the man in his suit. Okay. Hmm. Da 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 Chagall or Hangy with Yukari or with Fuka. Hmm. Chagall or Hangy with Yukari or Fuka? Uh, let's get our charm up and see. We haven't hung with Yukari yet. Huh? Yeah, let's watch together. Whoa, that teaser was so dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. Sounds exciting. Wait, really? You're totally fine with that? Story? Yeah, I like horror. That's actually perfect. I'll try to push through then. Oh, wait, it's starting. Man, the tension is palpable. That cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? Zombies are horror. The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. I love that. I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. Do, do, do. Do, do. Hey, rank four, I'm smooth. I can hang with Tanaka now. Oh, plot, plot. Is it time for hey. child me? Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? Sure can. I think so. You're used to it by now, huh? Well, repeated patterns the and all that. Full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? And don't worry. I'll come see you again. Seven, one. Good morning. The next full moon is almost upon us. Are you feeling prepared? Of course. All right. Good. I'm counting on you. According to the cycle, it should appear on July 7th at midnight. That's six days from now. The number of incidents has, have also started increasing as we get closer to the full moon, so stay alert. It's the number of incidents has, not have. This number is singular. Da -da -da -da. Hey, Yuko! He's going to have plot happen. One week until the next full moon. When I was little, I used to count the days before important events. Did you do that too? Yeah. So are you ready for this big event? It's not the same as when we were kids. You're still kids. 
Also, I am counting the days until my surgery. Ten days to go. I'm so close. Uh, okay, what are my options today? Uh, Onigiri, Keisuke, we're gonna hang with Yuko. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hang with Yuko, but first we're gonna look around town for dialogue. Well, there's that revenge website, but it sounds like just a rumor to me. Rumors have power in this series. The admin of the site I'm checking out now is highly respected. I guess they come off as charismatic? You know, having a unique username and everything. Well, whatever. As long as the site itself is cool. I don't give a flip what kind of admin runs it. Uh, I will probably do some, uh, live blogging while I'm off, but mostly I'm going to take the time off to recover. Ooh, what new stuff have you got? You have nothing new. Why were you lit up blue? Weird. Aha! Looks like those three weirdos have been snooping around here. Guess they're trying to hear the juicy stuff. The stuff you don't find out about in normal life. The whole reason I hang out here is to shoot the shit with my buds. Those three weirdos are the only ones who come here to try to learn stuff. They need to get a life. Are they lit up blue for new dialogue? Oh, did I miss? Did I miss a talk option? Oh, I did. It's almost summer vacation. The shop will be closed for the duration, so... I guess that means I don't get paid. Oh, this month is going to be tight. Ooh, when does summer vacation start? Dude, check this out. There's lazy people all over. What's going through their minds? Nothing, I guess. I'm so jealous, man. I want to be just like them. I'm already naturally lazy, so I've got a head start on achieving total blankness of mind. I do not respect you at all, lazy student. So many apathy syndrome people. Do I have Diorama? I do not. I do have Ricard, though. give Ricard to. Hang on. Uh, could give it to Principality. I want to spend as little time on Pisaka as possible. 
Cody Dark Angel. Uh, why don't I give it to High Pixie? Yeah, let's give it to High Pixie. You go. Uh, social link. Yuko is at five, so we can we can hang with her one more time. did a bunch of research on my end for this, so let's give him a real workout. We only have so much time to train here, so you have to practice on your own if you want to win. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And don't forget, know your limits and make sure you stretch properly. Oh, why don't you give them some advice, too? Show some guts. Hell yeah. Now listen, no matter what, think positive and don't give in to fear. The kids went home after finishing their training. Those kids are going to challenge the sixth grader soon. Apparently, the winners will get to use the schoolyard. Earlier, they asked me to write the challenge letter for them. A little worried, actually. Well, not just about the race, but also about whether or not I spelled something wrong. Well, let me look it over. So, what's your honest opinion? Age difference really matters when you're as young as they are. Do you really think they can beat the sixth graders? It's going to be tough, or as long as we believe in them. Uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah, no way around that, I guess. Some of the boys that age are even bigger than me. There's just so much difference in their physical strength. But even so... Be fine, right? After all, they learned from Hell us. yeah. Oh, why am I feeling so nervous? Well, because you're invested, Yuko. It's gonna be okay. I'm sure they can win. Get a bond for me with Yuko. Rank six. Come to think of it, I should have asked you to write the challenge letter. I probably should have used bigger words. Ugh, I'll be so embarrassed if those sixth graders laugh at it. Nah, it'll be fine. Using bigger words for the sake of using bigger words is just comes off as tryharding. I see you're back. Did you hear? The next operation will be on July 7th. That means it's going to be a Star Festival special bout. Star Festival, huh? Hey, okay, it's Chagall. As you may recall, I handled support before Yamagishi joined us, so I was worried my sword skills might have deteriorated. However, muscle memory kicked in, and I seem to be as capable as ever. You definitely are. You're extremely useful. And very fast! She's so fast! There's still so much we don't know about Tartarus and Shadows. But at least we know when the next Operation Day will be, so we can prepare for it. So how well do you usually prepare anyway, weaver Kun? I prepare well. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, let's keep at it then, okay? Am I on Huapo? I am on Huapo. Good. Do you know how to cook? I have to eat enough to make a four I burn. I see. 
Okay, do I want to hang with him? Oh yeah, I'm going to check the fridge. It's sufficiently chill. Chilled Taiyaki. Oh. Seven twenty nine. All right, let's see what this chilled Taiyaki is. Hundred HP to one ally. Did I do it on the wrong day? Should I have waited an extra day before opening the fridge? Huh. Okay. Mahiko, no social links. It's just the first time that it gets pilfered. Oh, damn it. camera on the town map. Weird. Hmm, maybe I do Wild Duck. Well, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do Wild Duck. away from the burgers. Eat without stopping. Uh, savor the flavors. Oh, come on. Well, two courage points ain't bad. Oh no, Chihiro, I'm so sorry. Okay. We'll probably hang with Keisuke today. Yeah, I think we'll hang with Keisuke today. Oh, I feel so bad for Chihiro. I'm ignoring her. Hey, where's the other... Oh, there she is. She's just invisible against the wall. Trying to enjoy them at any point makes you fail. Ah, okay. So, think of something sour. We'll be back for you in a sec, KSK. Man, Chihiro's Social Link must have so much more content in um, in Reload than in the original because of 
half the links being different if you don't romance her. Or half the ranks, I should say. Cool. There are four Apathy Syndrome people hanging around in Polonia. KSK. Yeah, KSK. Yeah, we went to Fred's own Chihiro. We get a whole bunch of brand new content. <laughs> oh. Spend time with our club. The talk can wait. I think everyone's waiting on us. Everyone's eyes are locked on their canvases. It's been so fun that the hours flew by. Everyone, attention please. It seems the painting Haragakun submitted to the contest really caught the eyes of the judges. And while it's highly unusual, they're going to reserve an award spot just for you, Hiragakun. Ooh, interesting. I don't think I understand. What does that mean? It means you're guaranteed an award. At best, you'll receive first place. At worst, an honorable mention. The judges were impressed with your shading techniques and said you crafted a masterwork of realism. Nice! Congratulations, Hiraga-kun! Hey, way to go! This, this day is not going to go the way you expected it to, Keisuke. This is the art club's first real achievement. Wait, then... That means... You should tell your dad. Yeah, that's right. He promised me. He said I could do whatever I want if I won. So this means I don't have to listen to him anymore, right? Well, wait to say that until you, the actual award show has happened. We should all do something special to celebrate. Yeah, that would be fun. Thanks, everybody. Especially you. I'm sorry if I made you worry. I did worry, but hey, I'm, I'm still a little worried, but... Let's go. You're celebrating with us, right? Hell yeah. Hiraga expressed deep gratitude to me. I feel like we're becoming better friends. Rank five. I don't mean to interrupt the fun, but Hiraga-kun, I'd like to fill you in on a few details. But don't worry, it shouldn't take long. The rest of you can wait outside the faculty office if you'd like. What if his dad bribed the judges? That would be an interesting wrinkle. Okay, normally I'd complain about the audio mixing, but this one this this one's actually kind of appropriate. Oh, wow! That's, that's, they really like his work. Damn! Wow, as an overseas? 
Karaka Senpai is amazing. Hey, are you guys from the art club? Have you seen Hiraga? Um, he's in the faculty office now. Oh no, did his dad have a heart attack or something? Some time to think about this. He says he doesn't want to be a doctor, but he just can't ignore people in need. That's how he is. A doctor's son with such an eye for art. I never thought I'd be so jealous of a student. Yeah, good for him. I mean, hopefully, hopefully, he does the thing that makes him happy. Today's Cantonese word is lay ho. Swing your arm, lay, lift those legs, ho. Lay ho means hello. That's all for this week. Back to the news. The shortest TV show of all time. Our next battle may be drawing near, but don't get too nervous. If you do, you might find yourself freezing up. Try and stay as relaxed as you can. Oh yeah, have you been keeping track of the moon phases each month, Weaver Kun? Of course. Well, that's reassuring. Guess that's what makes you the leader. I mean, I'm sure we've all been, except for, I'm, I'm sure Junpei hasn't been keeping track of the moon phases, but the rest of us have. Hey, Kirito Senpai never tells us more than what she thinks we need to know. I noticed that too. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard for us to know what's going on when she makes all the decisions herself. And that kind of behavior can lead to misunderstandings. Like the one that's happening with you. Alright, can I hang with the monk? I can hang with the monk. Ooh, more. I need more. You. What? You again? Uh, you missed Yuko's rank six. I thought your face looked familiar. Here again, kid. I'll wait for your ad to finish before I uh, say anything. Well, yes, but not ones I'd take here. I can't say I don't. What the hell's that supposed to be? Either you do or you don't. Don't get smart with me, kid. What would you call a friend anyway? Where do you draw the line between friend and acquaintance? I think... I think at the lower end of friend is people you actively seek out to to spend time with. Let's define a friend as someone you hold dear. Also that. The way I see it, no one in this world ever really cares for us. Well, that's just untrue. People always want something out of a relationship. They only really love themselves. You don't call someone doesn't like you, your friend, do you? No. Because you know you won't get nothing from him. Which means in this world, there's no one you can truly hold dear. At the end of the lonely road of love, kid, the 
the only one left standing. You are a broken down old man, huh? What? You see those gals over there? Ones on the dance floor? You can bring one of them over here. I'll be your friend in return, huh? What do you think? I know you can do it. Don't make me do that. I felt Mutatsu's warped trust in me. Oof. Rank three. Too tired to go talk to him, huh? <laughs> You look like you're gonna doze off any second now. Go home for now, kid. Besides, I know you're gonna come again anyway. Even if I tell you not to. Four days. Hey, get this! The other night, my boyfriend casually tried to take me to Shirakawa Boulevard on a date. What? No way! That Shirakawa Boulevard? Ew, he totally had an ulterior motive. We just started dating, but I'm already getting creeped out. His head's always in the gutter. Maybe I should dump him. Yeah, if you just started dating and he's making that move on you, a teenager, that's... Yeah, dump him. I don't want to end up like those couples from the rumors. You know, the ones found unconscious somewhere. So, in this As you all should know, there are many theories about the author, Murasaki Shikibu. That the tale of Genji was authored by someone else. That Murasaki Shikibu was a shared pen name. Some have even suggested that Murasaki Shikibu was an alien from outer space. A truly intriguing theory. You've probably seen her portrait. It's printed on the 2,000 yen bill. Well, since we're on the topic of Murasaki Shikibu, here's a question regarding the tale of Genji. We, we get money from... Um from Elizabeth and Tartarus in the form of of like 10 yen coins, don't we? Thou shalt not recite such a tale of this world before the princess. Now what such tale does this quote refer to? Iori, go on and answer. Huh? Me? Hey, lend me a hand here, Lore. What kind of tale is he talking about? About romance. Well, Correct. Too easy, was it? The world used in this sentence refers to the world of relationships and romance. Therefore, he is told not to read tales of romance in front of the princess. However, world can also refer to society or mankind, like how it's often used today. Make sure you read it correctly based on the given context. Now, on to the next one. One sec, guys. Thanks, Lord. You're a lifesaver. Charm up. Weaver could really got Junpei out of a pinch back there. He's such a nice guy. Ooh, do I get two points of charm? Nope, one point of charm. I'm smooth, so I can talk to Tanaka now. All right, let's see. Uh, Kenji, Bebe, Odagiri, and Kaz. I think we'll hang with Odagiri today. We get to Moon Kichi and Mitsuko when summer rolls around. There's a rumor saying there have been more apathy syndrome cases lately. Yeah, I can tell. They're all over the place. What a pain in the ass. It must suck being unconscious. I mean, you don't even know if you'll wake up or not. Da, 
da, da, da. I don't I know I don't really like Otagiri that much, but I am interested in his story. some guy made friends with some workers, but isn't that a waste of time? I'm fine being your customer. I don't need to be friends too, you know? I mean, I'm sure there's an upside to it, but I'll pass anyway. Too much trouble. I've already heard that. Why was that highlighted blue? God, they're everywhere! Remind me, is counter reflect or just you deal damage when you take damage sometimes? Obviously, it doesn't trigger reflect all the time if it is just reflect. Hey, precocious kid. The first term is finally over. You never felt this long when I was in fifth grade, but this one seemed to go on forever. Why is that? Because my teacher is so boring. Everyone in my class wishes we had a different teacher. Unironically, uh, Chie's counter is my favorite move in Persona 4 Arena. So satisfying to land. rank up next time? Alright, fair enough. Oh, do I not have Oberon anymore? I don't think I have Oberon anymore. Damn, I fused him away. Oh, it's you. Text message that said, I'll be a little late before disappearing. After she didn't return home the next day, her worried parents contacted the police. Eyewitnesses have placed a girl with several of her friends in town around midnight. The police investigation is still underway. Hey, Lore, have you heard? Shadows are attacking couples now. Yeah, keep up, Junpei. I bet the shadow behind it is one jealous and lowly son of a gun. How sad. If I'm not mistaken, the next shadow will reveal itself soon. We have a full moon coming up on the 7th. I expect the dark hour that night to be eventful. This next operation will be crucial to my research. Make sure you're prepared for the next full moon. You're an employee of the Kirijos, aren't you? Hello. It appears that the number of the lost is increasing again. This time, however, it seems many of the new cases specifically involve couples. Hmm, perhaps who the shadows target is dictated by the time of year.
Uh, she wants to cook. Mutatsu, but he won't break up. Hmm. Yeah, let's take it with you, Kari. Alright, this should be enough. There was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you well, it's gonna be a high enough temperature to cook it all the way through. Guess we'll. Uh, good luck. Thanks. You can count on me. I'll make it so good you'll be asking for seconds. So we have to wash our hands first, and then you're in charge of the rice and veggies. Oh man, there's a hibachi place opening up in the next town over sometime this summer, I think. And I'm so excited to have that within reach instead of having to go all the way to Bangor for it. Mmm. It's so tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it, too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. Is there rice on my plate? Oh, it's in the bowl. Okay. Chicken saute. Oh, but you didn't actually say yum. Yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this. Morning. You know, it's going to be a full moon soon. Doesn't it make you nervous? Not really. <sighs> oh, yeah? You're always so calm, Weaver Coon. Well, I guess we have to do this no matter what. to keep asking this way. Oh, I'm sorry, Chihiro. What's the name of this track? Okay, we can hang with Yuko to get her up to a point where we'll rank up the next time we hang with her. Uh, yeah, we'll probably do that today. I thought about everything, Weaver Coon. I don't think we have a choice. We have to do this, no matter what. Oh yeah, let's see the uh, healing item I just got. Good saute. Restores 100 HP to all allies. Fuck yeah. This is want to be close. Gotcha. I wish it repeated the uh, the start of the song every so often instead of just um, being the uh, instrumental and piano. Uh, instrumental and... Ah... Uh... That Revenge Request website might be real, you know. I know some guys personally who signed up. Okay, so it was their sister's cousin. It is real. I've been there. 
It's very funny that you can get that dialogue when you've already gone to the Revenge website. Oh, I hope the Shy Man and Calm Woman don't get apathied. Wait, hang on. One. Two, three, four. Plus, this person who can't be interacted with. So that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. There are currently twenty five people with apathy syndrome hanging out in the areas we can reach. What year did Portable come out? Uh, okay, yeah, let's hang with Yuko. Portable was 2009. Wow, that's early. Were there skill cards in uh, in FES and they just didn't have the Inari Shrine do skill cards? Or were skill cards added in, uh, in Portable? Also, did Vanilla Persona 4 have skill cards? I don't remember. Oh, we won't rank up the next time we hang. Okay, I gotta do more. There were no skill cards in FES. So, Vanilla P4 did not have skill cards. Because, uh, so, it was an innovation of... Um, it was an innovation of... Portable. Cool. You probably already know this, but the next full moon will be on Tuesday of next week. I'm sure some kind of shadow will show up. Please, be ready. I wonder if I'm going to be forced into having a specific party comp. Hey, 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 hey,
I'm thinking of watching it as a boxing DVD. It's a documentary about two champs who are rivals. You get me courage and advance the Akihiko storyline. The next full moon will be on July 7th, the same day as Tanabata. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect for this upcoming battle. We'll just have to be ready for anything. Better to play it safe. Alright, I've already tended to it twice, so I'm guessing we're going to get two extra types of onion? Okay. Ah, oh, I can start the Tanaka social link. Tanaka, I am smooth! My, aren't you handsome? Can I interest you in being a part of a promotional campaign I'm running? Oh, you're still in high school? Oh, that would mean... Perhaps if I trained him... The man seems to be mumbling to himself. Seems that my charm has caught his attention. Hey. Say, young man, how would you like to have all your dreams come true? Well, do I have a golden opportunity for you? Tell, not interested. Tell me more. Now this stays between us. So don't go telling anyone, okay? I can make you rich, 100% guaranteed. All you need is 20,000 yen. Your investment will multiply by 10. No, by 100. And the best part is, you don't even have to lift a finger. You'll become fabulously wealthy overnight. You have debts to pay off, don't you, Tanaka? Just give me the 20,000 yen, and I'll take care of the rest. Well, what do you say? I'll bite. Okay, 20,000 yen. I have the money. That'll do it. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. $2,000, huh? No, wait. 20,000 yen? That's $200. Okay. Eh, $200 ain't that bad. I mean, obviously it's a scam. And I should, in real life I wouldn't spend that money, but I am curious. Alright, so that didn't spend time tonight. I guess... I could hang with Matatsu. Watch a DVD with Akihiko for courage. Oh, you know what? I'm going to Wild Ark. Look away from the burgers. Eat without stopping. Imagine something sour. Imagine eating something sour instead helped me maintain my pace. Time's up. I managed to eat the mountain of burgers. Pacing, technique, and mental fortitude were all required. I feel like I've grown. Got two points for everything? Oh, it is two points for everything. Sick. That's the only time I can do this, isn't it? Thanks to completing the Big Eater Challenge, I can now order the limited Weekend Wild Duck set when it's available. First, I should report back to Elizabeth. I could go for some burgers. But I'm weird. I eat them plain. Meat and bread. Oh, Chihiro. Alright, we 
might hang with Yuko. Oh no, we're going to hang with Maya. We're going to talk to Elizabeth and then hang with Maya. <laughs> That's a cute message. Nope, no sauce, no ketchup, no mustard, nothing. Meat and bread. We're just two days away from the next full moon. I still have no idea what kind of battle we should expect. But let's try to prepare ourselves the best we can. Better safe than sorry. I don't mind if you go out, but remember that we'll be facing a shadow soon. Try not to expend yourself too much beforehand. Did everyone else go out? Or are they upstairs? So, do the bathrooms have a use in Reload, since there's no fatigue system? Kichi Elizabeth. Bathrooms are just flavor text, okay. Man, I thought I was going to get an equal number of uh, Twilight Sparkles f for each of the ranks that I got. They're in such short supply. I'm going to save them all for the uh, after mini boss chests. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the result. I see that you took on the Burger Establishment's eating challenge. I wasn't aware that completing it would grant you access to an off-menu combo. What a truly generous service. Though it has only made me yearn even more to challenge it myself one day. Twilight Sparkles. Oh, yeah. Very well. This won't take time, right? Let's win some uh, Jack Frost dolls. Let's see how much it costs to play until I win a prize. Alright, I have 45k. Twelve hundred ain't bad. Okay. Until you win a prize. Another 1,200, okay.
I wonder how many... Oh, okay. Only three attempts that time. Nice. It cost me a total of 30 bucks. Nice. I wonder how many different personas uh, have plushes made of them. Good day. Here are my requests. Wonderful. That physical manifestation of Jack Frost. Yes, no doubt. It is a Jack Frost doll. I am greatly fond of Jack Frost. May I touch it? Well, it's yours, so go for it. Marvelous. Oh my, so soft. To be honest, I was conflicted over what sort of Jack Frost request to make. I also considered asking you to nurture him until he reaches level 99, but I'm glad I chose to make this request in the end, since I've gotten such a cute doll out of it. It'd be real funny if there was a later quest to nurture Jack Frost to 99. That said, I would still love to see Jack Frost at his strongest one day. Twilight Fragments. Alright, let's take a look at the requests I have left. Uh, just things that happen, things that happen, things that happen, and I'm not a high enough level to get Mithras, I believe. It's Chariot. Chariot is cause, right? I guess I'd better, uh, used to battling rank up cause. Very well. Hello, Weaver Song. You all come to the shrine quite often, huh? Well, me too, I guess. Why do you come here? No. no specific reason. I just feel like I can relax here. Still, it's kind of a weird place for a kid to relax. Are you sure you're in elementary school? I have to leave soon, though, since I left in the middle of doing my homework to come here. Oh, that seems ill-advised. up with Maya. Cool. Oh, it's Sunday. Everything's restocked. Second floor. Second floor of vending machines. Alright, before we hang with Maya, I gotta go to the bathroom. Be back in a couple of minutes, guys.
Man, I've only played a little of 2, but can you imagine Persona 2 getting a remake in the style of 3 Reload and 5? Um, and getting, like, proper awakenings in that first fight, and... Um, just a general, more modern presentation. I don't know whether it would be better to, uh, keep it faithful in presentation or not, but considering how they updated, uh, 3's presentation to modern standards um I wouldn't mind at all all right Maya Shinagawa Dojo I see Maya listen Tatsuya nowadays I just log on to MMOs with bedhead and all like today lol when I was little people said I was a real cutie Guess I missed my chance, right? Nobody thinks I'm hot anymore. Do men only want younger women? Be honest. Age isn't the point. That's what I'm talking about. You really get me. What's really important is true love. 
But I think I tend to like them on the younger side too, though. Lol. Maya seems very happy. By the way, am I making any sense? I hope so, because I teach composition. Okay, I'll be calm. I'll compose my bitching carefully for you. <laughs> One of my co-workers is really pissing me off and trying to avoid her. We used to teach the same grade. We were together all the time. It's been a while, but that kind of thing sticks with you, you know? Anyway, she said she needed some advice, but then she just started bragging. Some student asked her out, and a guy she doesn't like proposed to her. Ugh. I'm not jealous. It's just so freaking annoying. Oh my god. I hate skanky hoes like her. Just give the puppy dog eyes, and guys will do whatever. Well, that's unfair. She even stuffs her bra. Lol. She a what? Betray that I'm 15. I'm afraid you know too much now, Tatsuya. But that's right, she's got fake tits. <laughs> okay, for real though, keep this between you and me, okay? Oh, is that a little angel halo emote? That's cute. Maya seems to be enjoying herself. I swear, oh my god, I saw Miss K running in late one time, right? And, uh, her pads fell down and it looked like she had four. They're fake for sure. My school is full of teachers like that. Man, Tatsuya, talking to you is better than getting a massage. Completely online is now an important part of my days off. Maya seems to like talking to me. Alright, what rank is this? Seven. We're supposed to be fighting demons from hell, right? And after what I just said, I might go to hell anyway. Well, I rented some DVDs, so... Later, Tatsuya. Thanks for chatting. She doesn't even play the game anymore. She just signs on to, to complain to me. <laughs> Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were already here. The wait is over. The Weekend Wild Ox set is finally here! Plus, your free drink that comes with the set will have extra ice so we don't have to put as much drink in it and can charge you more for less. Oh, the Weekend Wild Ox set. I wonder what the next shadow will be like. I bet it'll be stronger than the other ones so far. Ah, they are up here. Two days left. Don't slack on your training until the last minute, okay? I know people sometimes feel like they've hit their limit. But for most people, that's just an excuse. In reality, they've just given up. No matter how much you're suffering, pushing through it is the only path to real progress. Hmm. I've already read most of the books here. Oh, are you here to look for a book too? The ones in this section are a little difficult though. Ooh, academics! I see. The shadows just keep getting stronger, huh? Even if we train harder, it's always going to end up a close match, right? Reality is harsh, man. What if we hit our limit one day and get our asses kicked? That'd be totally lame. Uh, okay, let's go to Wild Ark. I can hang with Mutatsu. Uh, yeah, let's go to Wild Ark. Get that new thing. The burger might help you get more courage. It won't tell me what the other thing does. Uh, oh, I only have today for it. All right, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna see what the wild dog special meal does, and then I'm gonna go back and hang out with Mitsuru.
Well, he raises courage by two stages. Yep, two points of courage. All right, let's hang with Mitsuru. I need the academics anyway. Hmm? Yes, please. In that case. All right, I'll go grab that book for you. I didn't put a lot of thought into what books I brought. I just took whatever caught my attention. I apologize. I should have asked what your preferences were beforehand. If you don't mind my asking now, what kinds of books do you usually read? Uh, novels. Oh, do you now? I'm partial to historical fiction myself. I actually read a lot of it. You want me to stream the, uh, the Persona 4 Arena games? I mean, I could. That would be fun. But, uh... Huh. I don't remember anything about the story in those. I don't remember if I even did the story mode in Arena. Did did Ultimax come with Arena's story? Because I know Ultimax was a sequel. Historical fiction, huh? I'm rather fond of novels. All you have to do is turn the page to experience another person's life. And that reminds me, Yamagishi mentioned liking novels as well. I never inquired further, but maybe she'd make for a good reading partner. Don't imagine you would have done the story since it was a crossover with Persona 3. That's... That's a good point. Incidentally, the books I brought today are things like biographies and history books. Yeah, I know Arena and Ultimax have uh, different stories. Uh, like Ultimax is a sequel, not a uh, not an expanded release. Uh, but does Ultimax contain Arena's story, or will I have to find a copy of Arena and play that? I can attest that they're all worthwhile reads. Rather accessible ones, too. Oh, these have vertical writing. Interesting. I hope you find them to your liking. Oh, my. You're really tearing through the pages. I'm impressed by your focus. And that makes have improved. One point. You would need both games. That sucks. It's nice to spend some time reading quietly together like this. I know Ultimax got added to Steam recently. Did Arena as well? Thank you. That made for a relaxing evening. Well then, it's about time we return to our rooms. Good night. Good night. What's up? Tomorrow's the big day. That's right. For what? That's right. Yeah. I've got butterflies in my stomach. You know, like right before a big match. Now I know how Sonata san feels before he gets in the ring. Can 
Hang out with people today. Okay. Michael wants to hang on a Giri, Kaz, Burger. Odagiri and Kaz, neither of whom will rank up. Or we can hang out with Maiko. Don't you get kind of anxious before a full moon? I can't stop thinking about it. At least, that makes class go by a lot faster. Actually, hang on. I'm going to pull out my... Um, my disc binders and see if I have Arena. I might. I might have Arena. This will take me just a sec, guys. Because I'm thinking of it right now. There's Sotet, Pokemon Battle Revolution. Super Street Fighter 4. can play the Arena Story in Ultimax. Oh, okay. Awesome. I'm still going to look through my disc binder real quick. Or binders, because I have two. Covering all the stuff from the cases I, uh, I emptied out years ago. There's my copy of PC Frogger. There's my copy of Ghostbusters the video game. Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Other M. Lovely. Oh, I could have sworn I had a copy of Persona 4 Arena. Oh well. If Ultimax has Arena story, then awesome. Don't need Arena. with cause today. We'll spend the summer hanging out with Moonkichi and uh, Maiko. After I finish Persona 3 Reload, maybe I'll play through uh, Arena and Ultimax. What do you guys think? Would that be a good stream game? Just to get the story? Yeah, you know what? I would have avoided the story in Arena because I knew I hadn't played through 3 yet. But yeah, would you guys tune in for Arena streams to get through the story? Want to know something cool? You know, this place is called the Polonia Mall, right? Well, you know how I got that name. 
owned by a guy named Paul. A Polonia is a type of plant, and part of the Kirijo name comes from the character for Polonia tree. Since this place is under the ownership of the Kirijo group, that's how it was named. Get it? I may look like a slacker salary man, but I know some surprising things. Interesting tidbit. I'm getting a resounding yes from chat. Oh yeah, every character's got a story chapter. Um, uh, fighting game style. It would be normal matches with AI of varying levels. Alright, let's hang with Cause. Yes, we'll rank up next time we hang. Cool. Welcome back. Yeah, it's a fighting game, so there's there's set combos you can do. Um, and sometimes you can mix and match. I know what a fighting game is, Quiet Man. Tomorrow's the day. If we lose, the city gets overrun with the lost, right? We gotta win this, no matter what. You down for hitting Carteris later? I wanna pack on some muscle. Oh, that's right, Weaver Coon. For tomorrow, I think I'll have you stand by at the dorm just in case. So if there are preparations you need to make, please take care of them today. Alright. Crops, I planted on the rooftop! Alright, let's see what we get. Nutritious Amronian, refreshing Amronian. We will plant potato sprouts. Alright, what did we get? Four bombs of life. Sick. Uh, here's Distress, Confused, Charm, Rage, and Fear for one ally. Here's one ally's Freeze, Shock, Poison, Down, and Dizzy. Oh! So, it only matters the last person you garden with. The last person you garden with will, um, will determine what bonus stuff you get. Got it. Could hang a Chagall. Tomorrow is going to be uh, a plot day, so I won't be able to do Chagall at the uh, uh, rush day time. Did I stock up? I did. Okay. Mitsuru. Right. Mitsuru wants to uh, have me for tea. I see. Um... I'm not picking up any signs of a shadow related to tomorrow's full moon. 
Looks like we just have to wait until it appears tomorrow. So, full moon's nearly here. Ah, things are about to get exciting. I can't wait to see what we're taking on. It's almost a full moon. Anyways, just leave everything to me. I'll take out the enemy in the blink of an eye. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I sure hope I can get some sleep tonight. You better. Hello. Tomorrow, my hypothesis will be put to the test. A shadow will appear during the full moon. This is all quite exciting for a researcher such as myself. Alright, what do we got? Uh, no social links tonight. Okay. I think the T is an SP item. Hang on, let's let's find out. No, it's HP. It's a lot of HP, but it's still just HP. We've got a lot of HP heal items. But that is basically a, a bead at the moment. And who knows, maybe she'll give us an SP item. Thank you. It feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. It's a conversation, Mitsuru. How about you, then? Are you having a good time? Well, we just sat down. Of course. That's good to hear. Chamomile is known for its relaxing properties, so maybe that's taking its effect on you. I was actually a bit worried that I might be putting you off. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Well, apparently I can't social link with you until I'm a genius, so... We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. Thinking of buying some yourself instead of relying on your servants? I drank herbal tea with Mitsuru as we discussed our favorite snacks. Alright, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. Another Lux Night tea. Cool. It's a it's like with our HP levels, it's a bead at the moment. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Da -da 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 -da. All right, it's the day. Good morning. Good morning, Weaver Coon. How are you feeling today? Perfect. <laughs> That's really reassuring. I guess that's why you're the leader. By the way, we're going to have a quick meeting about the operation tonight. So please, return to the dorm immediately after school. This is ended for today. A powerful shadow may appear. Should return to the dorm. It's plot time. Hell yeah. Fuka? Just a moment. I found it. I'm picking up a large shadow in the city. I'd say excellent, but I'm not sure that is excellent. Hey, you were right. Yes, it seems like our full moon hypothesis was correct. It's located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm, Shirakawa Boulevard. Oh, that's that place full of love hotels that the uh, student was talking about her skeezy boyfriend trying to take her to, right? They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Oh, now I understand. What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. I've heard about it, but... Oh, that's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. You've heard about them, right, Fuka? 
where people go to, you know. Why did you say that in the skeeviest voice possible? What is wrong with you? Come now, don't let your imaginations get carried away. They're no different from any other hotel. The rooms are just a bit more exotic. That's all. Do you know from personal experience? Oh, really? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. Ah, look at you, Yucatan. You're such a child sometimes. <laughs> what? Who are you calling a God, child? Toupe is such a dick. All right, fine. Let's go. I'm reserving a spot in the lineup for today's operation. No objections. You could just do that? So, who's gonna take the lead? Me, of course. Be true, say my name. I don't see any reason to change leaders now. All right. Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. She was already going to do that, Mitsuru. I'll do my best. All right. Go ahead and decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. Oh, right. We haven't built up. Oh, we haven't built up. Theurgy! Oh, come on. Nope. I'm going no matter what. Uh, I guess we'll take Mitsuru. And Junpei. Because I want to get him EXP. Yes. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Just be careful. Well, you better be off. Let's do this. Yes. Are you ready? Commence operation. I'll get ready to provide support so you can head on over. Whoa. Looks just like I imagined. Wait, you visit this spot in Persona 4. Isn't this the hotel you stay at when you visit GeckoCon in Persona 4? Right? Yeah, you stay here uh, while you're visiting. Champs be force? How do you say that? Mitsuru? It's Champ de Fleur. It means Field of Flowers. This is the place. I can sense the presence inside. Then come on, leader. Let's get this over with. Leader! I'm detecting a major presence upstairs. It has to be our target. It's hiding in a larger room on the third floor. Head that way and track it down. Let's listen to this music for a sec. Okay, I guess... Ah, oh, there goes the music. Oh, that singer's going to town. Alright, uh, 
Is this all just set dressing? Okay. So a big door back there. Maybe we should check it out. Hierophant's chamber? Huh. I guess they're not going in tarot order. I thought this was going to be lovers. Maybe it's lovers and Hierophant? I sense a large presence behind that door. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, it is two of them. More normal looking than I expected. Get ready, everyone. Here it comes. This large shadow is of the Hierophant Arcana. You don't know what it'll do. Be ready for anything. All right, it's just the one thing. Oh, Hierophant is five and Lovers is six. Okay. The same kind of looks like Hierophant and Lovers combined. Oh, it's this track. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's element test. Koha! Blocks light. Okay. Oh, Garu. Oh, uh, Buffala. Right, we're doing a little damage. Uh, all right, Augie. Okay. Makoga. Ow. Hey, Yukari, you're going to be a media duty, I guess. Let's see what to do. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's Rakunda. So he's probably weak to curse, actually. Oh, but I don't want to be Pisaka in this fight if he's throwing out Kohas. Nice damage. Uh, all right, let's assault dive. Oh, he's weak to fist. Nice. Should have brought Akihiko. I think I have fist on the persona on uh, main character. Doomsday Doctrine. What's this do? Oh, fear. Uh-oh. Oh no, all three of us. You'll be paralyzed if you succumb to the fear. Don't push yourself and try to calm down. Uh, okay. What order do we go in? It's MC, Yukari, uh, Mitsuru, and Junpei. Ha, <laughs> Junpei's portrait. <laughs> uh, oh, I have enough disc fears for everybody. And just in time for Junpei to get a uh, a knockdown. Assault dive. Yeah. Alright, we've got it down to uh, two fifths health. Ha! Miss! Nice. Oh, Tarakaja's done. Okay. Fist! Uh, Shizo's got a salt dive. And Mokoi's got Sonic Punch, but we're, we're gonna use Shisa. A salt dive! Wait, hang on. Shisa. Resist Light. Excellent. Miss! Come on. Uh, Alright, let's Dia Junpei. Do 
Well, let's extend the defense drop. Assault dive! Oh, it's... It was crits, not weakness. I see. Okay. Uh, it's probably weak to curse. Uh, let's... Lightning it. Alright, no shock. Oracle! Oh, it was HP recover? I wanted stat ups. Damn. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, let's pop a cyclone arrow. Hack and blast! Hell yeah! Got it! Alright, is Lover's gonna come out now? 12,000 EXP! God damn! That brought June Pay up four levels. Nice! Uh, Garla. Okay. Um. Oh, I want to keep Garu for element testing because, well, I don't need to maintain Yukari's SP as vigilantly as MC's. Yeah, we'll drop Garu for it. Moragi, finally. Oh, he's getting a Pierce uh, ability at 25, so he'll have all three. Nice. We did it! The enemy's been defeated. Great work, everyone. I'll be waiting outside for you. All right, yep, it's lover's time. Can't save here. The door won't budge. A strong force seems to be holding it shut. No way. Why? I still sense a shadow in that room. Huh? huh? But we just... It's not the same one from before. But where is it hiding? Hey. The shadow should be in this room, right? We have to find it. The mirror. Huh? Hey, is it just me? Or is there something weird about this mirror? Take us into an alternate version of the room. Take us into an imagined spot. Well, this is different. Where am I? My head feels foggy. I can't remember why I'm here. What was I doing? I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I've been drugged by the cops. I can hear the shower running in the bathroom. Embrace your desire. Oh, Lovers is going to be a guy. Interesting. There's a strange voice ringing inside my head. I am the voice of your inner self. I know that voice. Revel in the moment. Who's that voice actor? That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. Uh, that's not true. The future is but a fantasy. Memory, a fabrication. Let your desire free you from your shackles. Such is your wish. 
I can't give in. Pleasure is what you truly seek. You stand before the doorway to bless. You cannot deny your instincts. I wonder if you can get a game over by answering you correctly here. I'll pass. My mind is getting clearer. Seems like something was trying to manipulate my thoughts. Someone turned off the shower in the bathroom. Oh, is this about to be super uncomfortable? What was I... Huh? Rude! Seems like Yukari's thoughts were being manipulated as well. I can finally reach you. Can you two hear me? I hear you. I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts, so I couldn't reach you. Looks like you two got teleported away as well. The group's all been separated. And this is why Yukari's required. The enemy is still in the same room. Let's regroup and then head back there. Did you hear that, Yukari-chan? Yeah, I heard you. Um, did something happen? It's fine. Come on, let's go. And how about we don't mention this to anyone? Got it? You got it! I'm sorry, I only sensed the one shadow. And I hate to bear more bad news on top of this, but a barrier has gone up within the building. You won't be able to reach it this way. So we can blame that shadow for getting us trapped down here. I'm going to try and find a way to break this barrier. In the meantime, please reconvene on the second floor. If you, Even if you intentionally try to fail the manipulation trick, uh, he still has enough iron will to rebound. It's just that it goes on for a bit longer before he shrugs it off. Noted. Yeah. There you are. Did the same thing happen to you two? Man, I didn't think there'd be another shadow. Anyway, you two okay? Uh, we're fine. Yeah, all normal on our end. Oh, could it be? I get it. It's the mirrors. The readings from the mirrors in the guest room seem to be resonating with the main shadow. If we can destroy those mirrors, then maybe we'll be able to break the barrier. Okay, so we gotta go into all the rooms and fight shadows. Well done. Can you tell which rooms have these mirrors? I sent something for rooms 204 and 205. Try heading to those two rooms first. Yeah, Junpei does not have the willpower to resist that. <laughs> um. Um. Well, there's the mirror. So we just break it, right? Well, let's smash this thing to pieces on the count of three. One, two... Wait, hold on. The signal's close, but I'm not entirely certain that this is the right mirror. Could you check the other room too, just in case? That's a good point. Better to be safe than sorry, so let's cover all our bases first. Okay, so we were supposed to come in here second. Oh ho, what's this? something here. Soul Refresh? What is Soul Refresh? Distress, Confused, Charm, Rage, and Fear. Okay, cool. Probably need that for uh, Charm. Okay, there's a mirror. Oh wait, there's something different about this one compared to the other one. Oh, I don't see anything different about it. What about you? Our reflections. Wait, what? They're messing with our reflections? 
Are they pulling some sort of magic trick on us? Well, these are shadows we're dealing with. You might be onto something. Oh, good. You noticed it, too. So I'm not just going crazy. Yeah, that other mirror. There's definitely something up with a mirror that reflects everything except people. The mirror in this room is probably just a normal mirror. Why don't we go check room 205 again? You got it. I wonder if I can go into the other rooms. Let's see if there are items in the other rooms. Alright, no items in the other rooms. Looks like it's not reflecting everything. Do you want to try breaking it? Break it! I knew it! Now we should be able to get to the shadow, right? Huh? Actually, the seal's still intact. But that should have... Don't panic. Can you pick up any similar signals? Let me see. Got it. Are we getting a signal from a mirror on the third floor? Then we just have to break that one too, right? Fuka, can you tell which room it's in? Sorry, I can't pinpoint the exact location. There's too much interference from the main signal. I guess we'll just have to go and find another mirror that doesn't show a reflection. It should be inside one of the rooms on the third floor. Good luck. All right, up we go. Clear. Oh, boy, Honestly. trying to get distracted so easily. <laughs> uh, we found it. Okay, well, uh, we will come back to this room. Bulls. Cool. Oh, we're going to have to break a bunch of mirrors. All right, let's go everywhere first. The items? No. Okay, we're reflected in this one. A threesome, huh? Not reflected in this one. Okay. The hell? Well, that's an odd painting to have in uh, in a love hotel. And this is just okay. We're in this one. We're in this one. We're in this one. Huh, I, I guess we were in these three, and I just didn't see properly. There's a bodyguard in front of this door for the threesome. Interesting. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Um, so, anyway, uh, a submission tonight, am I right? The main signal is completely gone. The seal should be broken now. All right. Excellent. Then the target's room should be accessible now. Still, we're behind schedule. Let's move. Uh, how's our HP look? Yukari? Media. Get us all to max.
The shadow is waiting behind this door. Are you ready? Yes! I'm ready. Oh. That was not what I was expecting. I'll teach you not to mess with a girl's heart. We'll get it this time. I believe in you, team. Unforgivable. I'll never forgive you for that. Oh, Yukari got maxed out automatically. Oh, I could have scanned. I keep forgetting to use Fuka's scan after a single turn cycle. Uh, Alright, well, let's fire off the Cyclone Arrow. A Kirby boss? <laughs> That was a good damage. Oh uh, boy. Okay. Uh, Zio. Resisted. Okay. Uh, Mitsuru. Fire off a. Th uh, fire off a Rakuda. I should have waited to use Yukari's Theurgy. I keep forgetting to do Rakuda. Element test. Ow! Fuck! And charmed! Oh, wow! That insta-killed her because she was charmed. Holy crap. She does not have her charm. Uh, well, let's fire off a media. All right, let's. What did I give her charm to? Hi, Pixie. Did she lose some Theurgy Gauge because she got downed? Interesting. Alright, well, Ice isn't, uh, isn't its weakness. That's a shit ton of damage, though. Assault Dive! Uh-oh. Anti-Charm? Yes! Uh, all right, let's fire off a Jack Rose. This track really is very good. This thing is a lot of HP. God damn. Okay. This will do the trick. Well, let's extend that defense down. And hopefully get Theurgy up. Nope, not yet. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Let's test Slash. Lots of damage. Nice. Oh! Oh! Okay. Did I stand on this enemy? Okay, 
No weaknesses. Okay, it's got Diorama. It's got Diorama. That's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Uh, well, fire off a Diorama of your own, Yukari. Okay. Uh, Hop Ho has Augie Lao. And it's 24 magic. Alright, Hop Ho. Oh, it's immune to fire. Whoops. Okay. Hop Ho still has the highest magic stat. So, Makoha. Crit. Seductive breath. Uh oh. Ambit susceptibility up. Uh oh. Oh boy. Is its ailment susceptibility up, though, I wonder? Nope. Hope this is stat ups. Hell yeah, heat riser. Okay, we have a bunch of discharms. Go in order. Wasting a turn cycle. God damn. Uh oh. Oh, I'm glad I. Oh, Mitsuru's uncharmed. Okay. Oh, it uses, uh, it uncharms them when it hits. Okay. Here we go. All right, Yukari, Diorama, Junpei. Uh, all right, well, Theurgy. Blizzard Edge! That's a lot of damage, hell yeah. What's the plan? Uh you know what? We'll risk it. Bring it on. Eat this. Oh. And take. Huggy died. <laughs> Miss! Nice! Alright. Diorama. Junpei. Uh, Rakunda! Bufala! Alright, we're working on it. 
Oh, our stats are gone. All right, well, assault dive again. Uh-oh. Everyone but me, okay. Uh, all right, up next will be Mitsuru. So we'll discharm Mitsuru. We'll discharm Junpei. Uh, we'll discharm Yukari. Now it's going to use Heartbreaker. No, it's going to Augie down again. Uh oh. Ow! Fuck! God damn it, Yukari. Discharm. Let's use this and regroup. I should have discharmed with Junpei. Oh, whatever. What's the plan? Let's go. Uh. All right, media. This should get her uh, max tier G. Yep. Uh, we are going to media with MC as well, though. Bufula. Assault time. Right, we've almost got it. Holy arrow. Ow, fuck! <laughs> you better watch it. Oh, status has been recovered. Thank God. Uh, okay. I'm ready anytime. We'll save her theurgy for after the next defense drop. So, Diorama, sell. Yeah, we'll we'll jack bros. Oh, it didn't down him. Damn. Shall I move to strike? How about Got it. Never toy with matters of the heart. Hierophant to the lovers. Lovers tarot. Excellent. Now we're leaving Akihiko behind. Good. This will make me more effective in battle. Fatal end. Medium slash damage to one foe, low chance of inflicting fear. Nice. I've gained a new power. Sylphid Aura. Increases party's attack, defense, and accuracy and evasion in the next battle. Interesting. I wonder if I can use that in the lead up to a full moon boss. I can definitely use it in the lead up to um, a uh, gatekeeper. What shock noise? Inflicts distress on all foes on the current floor? <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad you're all safe. Excellent work. The enemy was clever, but you came out on top. You paid attention, Junpei? Thank you. You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. 
And you as well. Thank you. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. Our team survived another dangerous fight. Feeling overshadowed again, Junpei? Is that why you're reacting like that? Feels like the level of trust between us all has grown. Fool! Right? Four. All right. Let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari-chan. Um, about that thing you mentioned the other day. You found something? I yes. He did kill Hierophant, that's true. Okay, tell me about it later. Alright, we should head back too. Hey, come on Junpei, let's go! Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. We all did our part. Really now. Well, whatever, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Shut up. Oh. There's that false bravado gone. What's his problem? We successfully defeated the shadows this month, too. There should be fewer victims for a while. I'm too exhausted to think about all that right now. I should hurry back to the dorm and get some rest. It's wild. This is the place... Oh, shit! That was faster than I expected. So are you the ones directing the shadows or creating them? Or are you just taking advantage of the chaos? Quite a show, I must admit. They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Your ass cape is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? Oh, we finally get names. How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. After all... We don't have much time left. Interesting. What does that mean? Your eyes are glowy yellow. Are you a are you a shadow or a human? I can hear people talking. Okay, my guess with I guess is that she's going to be revealed revealed? over the summer and join us in the second semester because I've seen her in a school uniform it's almost summer break let's go somewhere for vacation yeah I want to go to the sea the mountains everywhere and anywhere but first we've got finals starting on Tuesday time to study Oh, I've forgotten about that. At least we have a break after the exams this time. Summer vacation is just around the corner. We have finals starting next week. Let's see here. Finals start next Tuesday. Jeez, we just had an exam. What a pain. I think this is Maya. Well, maybe pain isn't the right word. English phrases can be pretty tricky. Now let's talk about comma splices. I'm sure you've all heard of them before, but just to be clear, 
A comma splice is when two independent clauses are indirectly joined by a comma instead of a conjunction. Ooh, that's rough! In chat, someone said, Headcanon that just formed. Lover's mindfuckery made June pay the same offer of desires and all that, but he saw through it immediately because he has just enough self-awareness to know that none of the others can stand him. Oof! Oof! I like that. Hey. Here's a question for you all. Dun dun dun! Weaver Coon! Where is the comma splice found in the following sentence? Because it is 10.30 right now, we will not reach the theater in time. It's already started, to my dismay. Uh, between reach the theater in time and it's already started, right? No. No. Oh, right, it's not... Hang on, because it's... Because it's 10.30 right now, and we will not reach the theater in time, it's already started. But it's not already started because we will not reach the theater in time. Um, we will not reach the theater in time, and it's already started to my dismay. Okay. Between time and it's. Ah, correct! The middle one is the inaccurately used comma. Regardless of how logical the sentence flow may appear... A comma cannot be used to link two independent clauses. That's a comma splice. Got it? Well, if no one has any questions, let's move on. He answered correctly. Everyone in the class is looking at me like I have increased charm. Smooth. All oh, right, let's save. Finals are a lot harder than midterms, you know. That doesn't necessarily mean I'll study harder, but we'll see. Sometimes the extra effort pays off. We're going to spend the next week studying our asses off. Oh, we could eat at Wakatsu. It's almost time for exams again, but this time it'll be a lot tougher. You better go to the library and study, otherwise you'll be screwed. Nope, I'm going to go eat and get brain points from that. The couple's only apathy syndrome that's been going around. I heard it was the work of ghosts. They say that a couple committed double suicide a long time ago, and now they're infecting couples with apathy syndrome. I don't know about that, but if it's true, I wish I could ask them why they're doing that. I mean, they're dead. They shouldn't bother living couples. You'd hope, but... Alright, so it's, it's... It's study time, so none of the students want to hang. Maiko and Bunkichi. Uh, but we're going to ignore the social links and study. We want to get at least four academics before the exams. I heard there's a revenge website, but the URL is top secret, right? Well, I know it, but I'm not going to give it to you. I'm trying to figure it out, so I'm looking all over the web on my cell. There's a local thread that seems like it has a lot of info on this site. And it's all garbage info. When I think of artists, I think of those people who squint and hold a pencil up to their subject. Artists who do that, especially the guys in my class, just want to look the part. Courage! No 
Okay, then. Alright, so we're gonna eat at Wakatsu. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going for a walk so we can take a break from studying. Good for you. I hope their relationship just, like, works out. They seem like the most normal people in the entire game. He's different than I imagined. From what I can tell, he has no personality. <laughs> Dude, I'm so used to her stalking me now. Like, I know she's always there, but I don't even notice her anymore. So, if you've come to that judgment about him, why are you still following him? conversation died again. I keep sweating. Is it because of the heat, or is this a cold sweat? He's sweating a lot now, but he's usually not like that. That type of guy is pretty popular with the older ladies who work here. Everyone remembers his face. I was surprised, to be honest. It's amazing how many people say hello to him at shops. The movie's theme song is very important. The quality of the movie is greatly affected by whether its theme song is any good or not. Which reminds me, long ago I heard there was going to be a GeckoCon theme song. I think it was called GeckoCon Bogey or something like that. I heard it was nearly done. I want to hear how it turned out, but who the hell names their song Bogey? I, I think that would be... Is GeckoCon the island? I thought GeckoCon was just a school. I guess GeckoCon High is high school on GeckoCon Island. <laughs> Say, what kind of dance is popular nowadays in the clubs? Reggae? That rap junk? In my day, I've already heard this. No new requests yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm allowed new requests periodically. You can expect new ones about once a month. Some, however, may only be available upon completion of other requests. Also, do pay attention to the number of the requests. Please settle in. Uh, okay. Very well. Uh, let's save. The island is Port Island. I see. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering at Will you register it to the Compendium? All registered. Are you finished? We look... Wait, was there an apathy guy? Hang on. In Port Island Station? Oh, this guy. Yeah, his leg does look a little weird. Huh. I guess we aren't having as complete an effect as we thought. Oh, there's another one. Oh, hey, I didn't talk to the uh, station attendant. This station is near the high school, so I often see GeckoCon students and their friends. You seem to be alone a lot. Do you have any friends? I have plenty. Great. I wish I'd had some friends when I was in school. Boost. 
All right, we're gonna eat at one cut too. And then hopefully there will be a study group at night. If you swirl seafood ramen around six times clockwise and six times the other way without spilling, if you do that with Hagakure's ramen, I heard you'll end up with the person you like. My friend at school said there was a stray cat around here. I'm waiting here until he comes out. I'm not going to catch him or anything. I just want to see him. I wonder what kind of cat he is. Lynx comes out and chews his face off. Oh yeah, there's an apathy syndrome girl down there at the bottom of the screen. Oh. Alright, I've almost come to the conclusion that there's only the one set of Net Cafe things and they never restock. Raises academics. Sorry, I need to talk to Fuka. About what? Uh, oh, there's something I have to clear up. I'm sure you're burnt out coming right off a new operation. You know, it might do you good to just rest today. Study group. Study group. Yo. Mitsuru's not here, so we're skipping Tartarus tonight. Just take it easy for now. Hey. What? Are you going to order me around, oh high and mighty leader? Alright, no need for that, Junpei. Whatever. I can be just as good as you, too. Alright, calm down, buddy. Uh, we're not going to work at Chagall today. We're going to get more Wakatsu. Let's see what's on TV. For our next story, mysterious vandalism has occurred at the Hotel Chaume de Flour. Mirrors in multiple hotel rooms were shattered. Though the hotel had many guests, none of them saw the culprit. Some guests have also reported theft in their rooms. Ah! Uh, does it only say that if I took the items? Police are currently investigating the incident. Does it only say there was theft if I took the items? That's funny. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to apologize for hitting you yesterday. I kept meaning to say something earlier, but I didn't want everyone else to hear. Oh, okay. Well, that's... That turns that from annoying to reasonable. She panicked, slapped me, because her head was still foggy. Um, and now she's apologizing for it. Um... And, and now she's apologizing for it, which a lot of, uh... A lot of Japanese media would not have her do. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so about last night's operation. Did something happen between you and Yukari-chan? Yukari-chan has been acting a little weird lately. I just hope nothing's bothering her. When will your social links start, Yukari? Amazing! Her fortune came true! She seems pretty caught up in the moment, though. Is she going to be alright? Hey, listen to this! I did what Mama told me, and I made a real friend! As opposed to the fake friend you've been talking to this whole time? This is so great! Maybe I should have my fortune told next time I'm in trouble. What about this friend? Are you two not friends? 
You're always together in here. Huh? Are you hitting on me? Sorry, the answer's no. You're a cute kid, but something's missing. If you're serious about getting into a relationship, you need to put more effort into it. I didn't need to put any effort into Chihiro at all. She... She immediately decided to romance me. Dude, that rumor is just getting started. This time, I hear it's about couples. The culprit must be a single guy. He's jealous of couples, see? But man, if I had that kind of power, I'd get myself a woman. Hey. The monk's not here today. He doesn't usually come on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. He's probably busy holding services or something. All right, so question. The Hierophant and Lover's fights were pretty easy. Uh, am I overleveled? Am I good at strategy? Or is the game just easier than in FES? Definitely easier than FES. Level wise, I'm about average. The Tartarus bosses are the harder ones. Huh, really? Interesting. You know, our campus is actually pretty clean and new. I only noticed after my club had to visit another school. My parents said that our school was rebuilt after an explosion ten years ago. I also heard that the explosion wasn't the only reason. Around that time, a lot of students suddenly stopped coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up the new building, to start with a clean slate. <laughs> what, you think there's a dark side to GeckoCon High? You watch way too much TV. Persona 2 took part place in a different part of the... Tokyo, right? Or is this even Tokyo? In a different part of the country, right? They, they were not GeckoCon students? I don't remember what the name of the school was in Persona 2. Let's skim through this chapter. Subaru City. Ah. Cool. Let's talk about the Heian area today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. In 794, the Heian Kyo was established. In 894, they abolished Imperial Embassies to China. I might put this section on the exam next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyway, on to feudalism. Listen carefully, because this has to do with the origins of the samurai. This guy is such a shitty teacher. I choose you, Weaver. Let's see what you know. So, the law permitting permanent ownership of newly cultivated land served as a foundation for the development of feudalism. Thanks to this decree, a lot of land was cultivated. At the same time, a serious problem arose for the farmers. Do you remember what that was? Social disparity. Yes, yep, you exactly. got it. The work doesn't end after you plow the land. It costs a lot of money to build waterways and stuff on top of that. So the farmers with more wealth and authority could make more money by expanding their lands. On the other hand, those who weren't as affluent had no choice but to remain poor. It's the same old story throughout time. Well, that's all for the Heian period. God, you suck! Point of charm! 
da, da, da. Greed is such a terrible sin. Alas, I could have... Oh, okay. New request. Cool. And nobody wants to hang. Oh, Bukichi wants to hang. Okay. Huh? What do you want? Don't bug me if it's not important. I'm heading home now. Man, this is going to be an annoying arc. Hopefully Junpei becomes more likable after after this arc. It's almost summer vacation. I used to love summer vacation when I was a kid. And now it's like, whatever. I just don't get excited about it anymore. Do you get excited about anything, lazy student? You're lame. The Egypt Obsessed Teacher in 4 was slightly different in that, um, from what I recall of her, she wasn't presented as skipping over material the way this asshole is. Like, he's supposed to be teaching about these areas, eras of Japanese history, and he's just going, ah, I'm not interested in this, so we're going to skip it. Whereas she just got excited about certain eras of world history. Requests. Accepting a request? Some chilled taiyaki. I've got a chilled taiyaki oh, for you. you. So this is the chilled taiyaki. Well, it certainly is cold. You have my it has a soft, chewy texture and such cute, round eyes. I shall savor every bite. Nile cloth? What's that? I wish to feel the ocean. Bring something you'd find from the ocean. I have longed to visit this place called the ocean. Alas, as you know, I am unable to abandon my post here. So, if you ever have the opportunity to visit the ocean, would you look for something that feels like the ocean for me? Well, that's vague. A Christmas star. If I may say so. This time, I'd like for you to bring me a certain plant. It is often referred to as the Christmas star. I do not have any more knowledge on this subject. Should you require help, I recommend asking someone well-versed in plants. Fuka, maybe? I will await a report of success. Please feed the ca Yeah! Finally! I can sense a presence. I sense a presence. There seems to be a hungry cat somewhere out there. It appears to have trouble finding food. As such, it has not yet been fed. Would you please find and feed the poor thing? Finally! I will await a report of success. Max safety shoes. Probably a reward after a gatekeeper. Oh, yes! The other day, I overheard a housewife say something rather intriguing. Within the world of online shopping, these Max Safety Shoes are extremely popular right now. I would love to see what makes these shoes so special. Would you please bring me a pair? I will await a report uh, of let's see me hear music unique to GeckoCon. It's said that music can paint a vivid reflection of the culture at that time and place in history. Should that prove true, then I wonder if the GeckoCon high school you attend has its own unique music as well. It's been on my mind ever since I first heard of this. So, will you do me one of do me one favor? I'd like to hear a piece of music distinctive to your learning facility, GeckoCon High School. I will await a oh, the GeckoCon boogie, huh? Defeat the rare shadow in the third block, Yabasha, and bring back one rustic coin. Okay. I will await a Create a persona with torrent shot. 
horrid shot in your possession and report to Elizabeth. I will await a report Retrieve the fourth one document and stuff I already had. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go feed the cat. Got uh, Okay. Very well. All right, let's look at Polonia first. Yo, what's up, Gamer? I saw a girl in a white frilly dress the other day in front of the station. Don't get me wrong, I love that kind of outfit. I've got tons of figures dressed that way in my room, but... In real life, I think it's better to dress casually. Hey, if she likes it... Feed that cat! Feed that cat! Meow! This cat looks very weak. It seems like it might be hungry. Maybe I should give it super cat food. Give it super cat food! Meow! 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 The cat is purring loudly. It seems happy. Maybe the cat will feel better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. Oh, uh -huh, okay. Okay. Well, let's go buy some more cat food then. I've got money. Super cat food. Which ones? Uh, let's buy ten. That's all you want? Hey, done already. Come again. Wait, hang on. I think I need more disc charms. Come on in. Which ones? Now, thanks for coming. You got everything you need? Come again. Yeah? Alright, on Monday we gotta go gear shopping. Alright, so she wants me to feed it more than once, right? Good day. Here are my requests. Yes, okay. Alright, so item from the ocean, bring me a Christmas star, music unique to Gecko Con. All those are probably things I get from very well. Uh, people in the dorm. I'm excited to feed the cat. To find out what the cat's deal is. I got a complaint from a passenger. The guy called me reticent, unsociable, and moody. And when I try to talk, they tell me to shut up. This job, I tell you. Hopefully you don't get in trouble with your boss. Or are you a self-employed taxi driver? Let's eat at Wakatsu. Prodigy Planner. Come on, rank four. Nope. Getting four points of academics a day will be helpful. Feeling rested? There's still some time until the next full moon. Well, I wish I could tell you to take it slow. Finals start next Monday, so I'd like you to care for your health and concentrate on your studies. Oh, yep, there's a, uh, there's a group study session. Oh, the limited cell set me off from Wakatsu. Uh, 
hang with Mutatsu. We're gonna do a study session today, but... A Christmas star? That's the ornament at the top of the tree, right? Why do you need one of those? Oh, if I'm right, it might not refer to an ornament at all. There's a type of plant that's sometimes called the Christmas star. Could you wait a few minutes? I'll go double check. Poinsettia! Oh, okay. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. I think what you're looking for is a poinsettia. This flower is usually sold during Christmas time, so it'd be hard to find in stores now. Fortunately, I had some in my room. Here you go. I think it's wonderful that Kirijo Senpai is so passionate about her cause. But being too passionate can cause people around you to feel confused. It's a difficult balancing act. Kirijo Senpai takes her mission really seriously. She would probably do just about anything to annihilate the shadows. I can respect feeling like there's something you have to do, but isn't it a bit much sometimes? I think I know what you mean. There are a lot of old sayings about maintaining balance in your life. I understand not wanting to be too laid back, but you shouldn't become obsessive either. Dun, 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 dun. Oh ho! What do we got here? Security site note. Featuring videos on taking down enemies. Ooh, okay. Once we rank up our academics, we'll we'll do that at night. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. That red-leafed plant, is that the Christmas star? I was led to believe there would be presents growing from this plant. <laughs> Very well, then. This fulfills my request, but you can take it back with you. Although, once the presents are in bloom, I'd like for these plants to fill our room. Aw, she's fun. I like Elizabeth. Jack's gloves, ooh. Probably a Jack Very Frost well. thing. Oh, oh, that's a big jump and high charm chance. Holy shit. That's beefy. Oh, yeah, I should check and see what the other request rewards are. Here are my requests. Amethyst, male summer garb, twilight sparkles, female uniforms, S. Check a location the with the school that broadcasts so music. I purple. see. Okay. It's rather blinding. Attack mirror. Oh, female uniform summer. Okay. Nine treasure chests to go. Fifty-four shadows to go. And eight fusions to go. Okay. Very well. Oh, Weaver, I came down to get a drink and got caught by Mitsuru, as you can see. Look. I'm not worried about Akihiko's grades. I'm more worried he'll run off and do some reckless training. And studying has the added benefit of preventing that possibility. So, here we are. Even though I'm mostly done studying for the exams, In that case... then why don't you overlook Weaver's studies? 
That is, if he is able to join us. Please do. All right. Sit down. I'll be your study coach. I was hoping to go for another run after rehydrating. I believe you've done enough physical activity for one day. Any more and you'll hurt yourself. Fine. So, were there any subjects you needed help with? Uh, any tips from remembering kanji? Uh, the most basic method is writing them over and over again. But I get that's a tough way to stay motivated. That's why I reward myself with workout reps based on the number of new kanji I've learned. The more you study, the stronger you'll get. Pretty motivating, huh? In any case, I advise having a good workout ready to treat yourself with after a study. That is not how most people treat themselves, Akihiko. Usually people treat themselves for having done a workout. They don't treat themselves with a workout. It all comes down to making it a regular habit. Just a little each day really adds up. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Ah, uh, yeah. Akihiko, working out isn't normally a reward for most people. Yeah, seriously. On top of that, what good does it do to preach about long-term habits mere days before the exam? Hmm, I guess you have a point. In that case, how would you recommend cramming for it? It's not my usual style, but I would focus on memorizing material that is likely to be tested. If you give it your all, it shouldn't be too difficult. Easier than facing the enemy wholly unprepared, at least. Well, we can talk all night, but doing is where the magic happens. Here, let me give you some practice problems. The two of them continued giving me rigorous advice. Two points. Not enough. You catch on quick. You immediately took what you learned and put it into practice. All you need now is some strength training and you'll be unstoppable. Once the exams are over, why don't we dive into Tartarus for a bit and get some workouts in? That's the plan. <sighs> Never change. I'll need to continue keeping an eye on you to make sure you don't overdo it. <laughs> the more you study and the more you train, the better results you'll get. I look forward to seeing what you'll accomplish from here on. Let's call it here for today. I want to get some stretches in before heading to bed. Living to work out and improve your body is... I'm not going to say I don't get it, but obsessing over that to the degree that some people do is so alien to me. The original game, I'm pretty sure the second half of Academics takes more points than the equivalent rank of the other two stats combined. Holy shit. Silence! Class is beginning. Uriel, Rilue, Ilili, Yulir, Leiru. Just a quick preface. When I use the word magic, I mean it in a very general sense. Anyway, today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. I'll be giving a crash course on the single most magical place and time in recorded history. So, there are a lot of materials pertaining to Western magic, from printed books to communal folklore. I'll cover all of it, including the changes European magic has seen since then. As I mentioned previously, European magic finds its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity, though, it has been influenced by an influx of various cultures. Let's see, what are some well-known examples? There's Kabbalah, which is the esoteric study of mystical aspects of Jewish texts. There's also Gnosticism, a Christian sect founded by Simon Magus, the sorcerer. Is that why we call... Is that why we use the word Magus for wizards and stuff? Huh. I didn't know it was a person's name. 
Greece's philosophy and natural sciences were the fruits of magical researchers. And the same was true of Islam's scientific advances, which surpassed Europe's at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the rule of Christianity and the insight of the natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely reached up for a connection with the gods. Say, you still awake? You're not daydreaming, right? <laughs> How about a test to see if you were paying attention? You'll know what type of guardian angel you have, depending on how you answer. Uriel, Rilloe, Ilili, Ulir, Leiru. Uriel's an archangel. Okay. Now, who to call upon? I choose thee, Weaver. What is the esoteric study of Jewish texts called? Kabbalah. Good. Very good. Thank your guardian angel, because they must be kind. Hey, that was all me. I didn't need a guardian angel for that. The magicians of the age achieved great things, particularly the renowned grimoire. A grimoire is a collection of magical texts, usually as all-encompassing as possible, wherein... I answered correctly. Charm! Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
Hang on, I'm just gonna buy one of every drink so I have them on me. Something from the ocean. Alright, that was not it. This is beef bowl takeout. Welcome. Oh, it's a heat riser. Ooh. Thank you. Come on, rank four. Rank four, hell yeah. Oh, hey, are you free tonight? With exams coming up, I thought maybe we second years could hold a study session. Pass, I'm heading to my room. Huh? huh? Wait, Junpei. Oh well, his loss. You, me, and Fuka can still study together. You're really making a name for yourself as our leader, especially with this current operation. Excellent commanding there. Next time, the enemies will probably get stronger again, but if you keep up the effort, I know you'll do fine. on TV. Our next story concerns a very rare event. A miraculous flower, which only grows once every 100 years, has bloomed. It seems to be responding to the other strange events in town. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, it's fine to reflect on your victory, but don't forget that there are exams next week as well. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Hey, let's go bother Junpei. Junpei seems to be in his room, but he isn't responding. Yeah, not a surprise. Famous coffee mixed with cough syrup. That sounds like a bad idea. Aguafina extensively purified tap water. <laughs> Oh, go in. Go in. Uh, Alright, we'll do the study session. do need academics. I'm just smart, right? Yeah, I'm just smart. 
I wonder if Genius is rank 5 or 6. Considering you need rank 6 Courage to hang out with Fuka, you probably need rank 6 Academics to hang out with Mitsuru. Gekko-Con music. Oh, I forgot to go to the music room. I gotta remember to go to the music room Saturday. going to come back into the story. Korum, right? Korumaru? <sighs> it's almost time for exams. Have you been studying? Yeah, I'm smart now. We were just about to start studying together. Do you want to join us, weaver -kun? It's okay with you, right, Fuka? Uh -huh. Of course. Will you study with us? Let's study together. Yeah. Great. Let's get started. Your nose looks so trendy. Yeah. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Trendy? Oh no, these are Natsuki-chan's notes. Really? The bully? She let me borrow them since I was out trapped in Tartarus. What a good friend. <laughs> she sure is. That said, there's actually quite a bit missing from these notes. Oh, you're right. This part just has the equation and no answer, and this page is full of doodles. Well, it's better that than nothing, but... And this part... Uh, is that a drool stain? Well, she tried. Hey, it may not be the best study material, but it's the thought that counts, right? Mm -hmm. I've been trying to think of a way to return the favor. Uh, complete her notes. Complete her notes? You mean like fill in all the parts she's missing? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of material. I wonder if I can finish it all. We began to fill in Natsuki's notes. We nearly rewrote the entire thing. It really did make for a good review. Two points of smarts. Two points of smarts. All done. It looks wonderful. <laughs> Natsuki chimes in for a real surprise when she sees. I hope she's not insulted. I hope she likes it. Well, I couldn't have done it without your help. Thanks, you two. Well, it certainly helped us study too, right? Sure did. We didn't spend much time on any individual thing, though. I'll make sure to give Natsuki-chan the notes back tomorrow. Good night. Hey, Denny, how's it going? How was D and D? Uh, you missed Hierophant and Lovers. And Junpei turning into an asshole. Uh, so, exams are coming up pretty soon. Have you been studying? Yep. Oh, yeah? Well, not that it's any of my business. Yukari slapped us and then apologized. She actually apologized. You never see that in... Japanese media when a girl slaps a guy for 
um, a misunderstanding. Here we go. Finally, we've reached Tyro no Masakado. He's the turning point of the era of the samurai. It all began with infighting among the Tyra clan. Their conflict escalated until the Imperial Court had to intervene. Masakado was pursued by the Imperial Court, so he had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. Weaver, you may not look like a samurai, but let's see if you know this one anyway. There's a theory that Tyra no Masakado thought of the prototype for an item essential to battle. Now what do you think that item was? It's something every samurai needs. Uh... What year was this? Prototype. The katana's older than that. Samurai started using guns when... The West cross-pollinated their culture. The katana is older than... Well, this guy's a big samurai otaku, so he'll probably go for the katana. Yeah. Knew that one already, huh? Yep, it's the katana. Think of samurai and their swords are the first... Think of samurai and their swords are the first thing that comes to mind. Although it's not known whether Masakado really came up with them. This is going to be on the exam next week, so prepare well. Let's skip forward a little to the Kamakura era. Ah, oh, at last. I can feel them on their way. The samurai are almost here. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yoritomo. Oh, I can't believe we finally made it. Oh, that wasn't in the original? She didn't apologize in the original? Huh. Yet another reason why she came off like an asshole. No, I want to go to the music room. It's a message from Sanada. Ikitsuki-san is coming tonight. Sounds like he has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor once we're all back. Okay, cool. Oh, Maiko, we'll play over the summer. Brain food. Where is the music room? Fuka likes to hang out. It's a student council room. They... That If that wasn't in the original, then that settles it. They deliberately reworked Yukari a little to make sure that she came off as not an asshole. Laboratory. Music room. See a grand piano inside through the frosted glass window. But the CD. Oh. Okay, where can I get the CD? Maybe after summer break starts. Doesn't seem to be anywhere in, in the school. Feed that cat! 
feed that cat. Wow. The light in its eyes has returned. Maybe the cat will feel even better if I come back and feed it again tomorrow. Hmm. Wait, the CD place. You can get it from school. Okay. Let's go back to the school then. All right. Let's see. Where can I get it? There was somebody who told me about GeckoCon theme song. But that was a guy in Polonia. There's nobody in the school with an exclamation point above their head. There was a PA room, but uh, I uh, I already checked it. Oh, maybe I guess I didn't check. What the heck is this song? Gecko Con Boogie? Why does the school have music like this? Must be a teacher's theme song or something that plays when they enter a classroom. No way, man. That's crazy. Sorry, you have permission to be in here? Huh? This song? I have no idea what it's for, but it says Gecko Con Boogie on it. What, you want it? Are you serious? Sure, you can have it. We don't have any use for it anyway. Here. Now get out of here before you get me in trouble. Gecko Con Boogie. The Velvet Room. Marvelous. I'm looking forward. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. What is this circular disc? Gecko Con Boogie is written on one service. Is there music stored inside of it? And this sheet of paper must be the lyrics. Everybody was haiku writing. Those kids were fast as lightning. Come on! Very well, then. Hmm, I can't imagine what it sounds like from the words alone. I'll have to listen to it later. Female uniform, summer. I wish to feel, bring something you find from the ocean. Now, what could that be? The world you live in is so bright and colorful. It's rather blinding. Something you can find from the ocean. So a shell or a fish. A, a memento that reminds you of the ocean. It's supposed to be singular. Memento that reminds you of the ocean. Very 
Very well, then. Okay. It's not something I have on me. Something that reminds of the ocean. Is it a persona? No. A mementos of the ocean. Uh, I guess I'll check out the jewelry in Club Escapade. Rise is still a Jack Frost doll. It's nothing in here. Antique store, July 18th. Oh, maybe it's something from the antique shop. Alright, I'll ask. Can I get the thing from the ocean right now? No, I cannot. Okay. Probably something from the antique shop, then. Wakatsu. Uh, but before we eat at Wakatsu and do plot, I'm gonna save, and I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna take a break.
All right, back. Let's get some brain power. Oh, excuse me. And that's the summary of what happened on the night of the seventh. These shadows seem to be quite a bit more formidable than the ordinary ones. I see. So our enemies are growing stronger as well. That's the long and short of it. Well, it's not all bad news. In fact, I called today's meeting because... Hold on. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Kirijo-senpai something. Oh? I know I'm not the only one thinking this. So much has been happening lately. I feel like I've just been getting dragged along without really understanding anything. But now, I want answers. Where are you going? So I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, Senpai? You're always acting like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour or Tartarus. But they're connected to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan? There was an explosion near our school and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? This is a bit of a leap. Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But something is off here. At the time of the incident, there were several unexplained absences. Seems like more than just a coincidence. This is flimsy, Yukari. What do you mean? Well, I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. Alright, less flimsy. Those students weren't just absent. They all suddenly collapsed and had to be sent to the hospital. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Remember those girls who bullied Fuka? They had to be hospitalized too. That would hit home. I want an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school, so you have to know something. Tell me the truth. Man, everyone's being confrontational these days. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you. Ooh, that. yes, spill. Shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates they can even affect time and space. As evidenced by the Dark Hour in Tartarus. We think of them as our enemies, but what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? They could be a source of unimaginable power, couldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that very line of thinking. So when you were a, a little babe... He was the former leader of the Kirijo group, Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power to create something extraordinary. Create something extraordinary? Oh, anime scene. Nice. To that end, he assembled a research team and had them amass a number of shadows. He was collecting them? Damn, that's freaking crazy. But ten years ago, during the final stages of the project, there was an accident. An experiment failed. Was the lab underneath the school? They lost control of the shadow's power, altering the nature of the entire world. Wait. You can't mean... Yes. Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> well, that explains why you think you can understand Tartarus by completing it. 
According to the records, the accumulated mass of shadows split into several large ones that later dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Maybe that's why it's difficult to predict where they'll appear. Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. Is it because that's where they conducted the experiment? Yep. Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized... It's just as you fear. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could essentially do as they pleased. Port Island must have been the perfect location for them. So, yes, as you guessed, the experiment ten years ago was conducted at Gekko Khan High School. Fucked up. Just what are you trying to say here? So that's the whole purpose behind Seas? We were dragged into all this just to clean up their mess? You lied to us? <laughs> and you knew too, didn't you, Sonata Senpai? You've both just been using us! Or do you not care as long as you're the one who gets to do the fight? Ooh, that's that's piercing for Akihiko. I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Share them. Think what you'd like, but it was my decision not to share the information. I'm sorry. It was never my intent to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. I know it may not be fair. But shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. We are the only ones who can fight. That's hardly the point! I never had a choice either. It didn't matter if I wanted this power or not. I... Was it grafted onto you? Mitsuru, that's enough. Takebakun, it's only those in the past who are to blame. And they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But that's... <sighs> it's been ten years since the incident in question. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But now that they're here, we have the chance to find... I bet they're being uh, influenced by Revolver Jesus. Do you realize what that means? Uh, it was a school, yeah. Um, the school was founded in 1984. What if I told you that the Twelve Shadows are the cause of everything? You're saying if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See? It's good news, isn't it? It's convenient timing. Can that really be true? There's evidence to support it. And this is where our true battle begins. Our true battle. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to wait for them to strike first. Right. And there are still many mysteries surrounding Tartarus. For instance, why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answers must be out there somewhere. That's definitely the most outstanding question. Hmm. Well, she's calmed down. We must defeat the Twelve Shadows that started all of this in order to eradicate both the Dark Hour and Tartarus. I must fight to protect everyone. Six of them remain. I bet you there's more than six. Oh, you know what? I'll bet the other eight are in the answer. Very interesting. Maybe we shouldn't go to Tartarus tonight. Junpikun asked me to go over what we talked about in the meeting. But if we defeat all 12 shadows, 
I won't be able to use my persona anymore. Oh no. Are you... Are you thinking you don't want to save the world so you can keep being powerful? Man, it's such an amazing power. I can't just let it go to waste. Well, aren't you calm? Just because you're a fantastic leader who can do anything, huh? No matter what happens, you can handle it all by yourself. Isn't that right? <laughs> I wish no, nobody like me could be like that. Chubikun, are you listening? The only thing anyone knows about Tartarus is that it creates shadows. Other than that, we're all in the dark. I'm so sorry about everything. Let me know if there's anything I can say to be of help. Hey, anything but a pun, man. How'd the public take it? In the end, over 50 people were injured in that accident. The media placed full blame on the Kirijo group for the tragedy. They singled out one researcher in particular, declaring him the main culprit behind it all. And that researcher's name was Shuji Yakutsuki! Whether it was actually all his fault or not was not the issue. The public was looking for someone to vent their pain and anger on. So they chose him, even though he was a victim himself. Their wrath was unparalleled. It was almost more frightening than seeing a horde of shadows. Yes. What, are, what are the Twelve Shadows? Special shadows that appear on full moons. They are the product of a research accident ten years ago. In the incident, an experimental entity comprised of numerous shadows was split once more into twelve large pieces. As such, their power far exceeds those found in Tartarus. Tread with appropriate caution. What happened with Mitsuru? Under the pretense of assisting for the benefit of the group, she was subjected to experiments on her persona for many years. Fucked up. Solving the mystery behind the unknown ability of personas, the development of various equipment beginning with the Evoker. None of this would have been possible without her cooperation. Yeah, like she had a choice. There must have been some dangerous experiments at times, too. And yet she kept agreeing to it all, I'm told. Yeah, like she had a choice. Tell me about Sanada. He and Kirijo-kun have known each other for a very long time. Sanada-kun joined us when he was only in middle school. At the time, we had a third member as well. But I digress. Is that that Akigawa guy? No, digress more. There will not be a recording today, but I'm going to check anyway. Can you imagine if there was a, a comedic recording after all that? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna eat some Ooh, made it a suit. Okay. I guess man in the suit is what we're doing today. We got our fourth point of academics. Hey. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned. It still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. <laughs> are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Oh, really now? You'd pass up the chance to be rich beyond your wildest dreams? Well, if that's what you want. Alright, we'll come back when we have more money. I'm running low. Oh, I'm not going to have enough money to do shopping on Monday. Oof. Okay. Oh, you know what? I've got my fourth point of um, academics. Let's check out that uh, internet note. Security site note. A note with the URL of a site featuring videos on taking down enemies. Let me see what this URL leads to. Effective security measures online. This seems to be a website that helps with training security team members. There's a list of self-defense videos here, each with a detailed text explanation. I decided to start with the most watched video. watched a how-to video on subduing violent individuals. 
I learned the importance of having the will to stand up to an enemy. Maybe I could use what I learned in our fights in Tartarus. You learned how to use ambush. You can now ambush enemies while exploring. When ambushing an enemy, you'll trigger chance encounters regardless of the direction an enemy is facing. Press and hold R2 to dash for a set distance to enter the assault state. By pressing square while in this state, you will ambush the enemy. Ooh! Triggering an encounter from behind will slightly increase Lore's theurgy gauge and may distress the enemy at the beginning of battle. Ooh! Cool! Cool! about as usual, huh? Hmm? Aragaki, that's his name. Shinji Aragaki. Q, what do you want? If you're gonna ask me to go back, the answer's still no. Were you that's experimented on? I was just making sure you were still around. That's so. We've known each other a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. Are you orphans caused by the explosion? You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Miki, huh? Did Miki die and that's what split Shinji off from the group? Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other pals. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge your head like a damn fool. You've never been good at hiding shit. Everyone thinks about the past. Even me. Anyway. We finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the dark hour. No shit? Oh, that caught his attention. Yeah. The thing is, all I've cared about until now is getting stronger. Everything else came second. But yesterday, someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting? Huh. It's different for everyone. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit. That's what I did. I'm not like you. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. Man, this is rough. I've never seen the Shinji Aragawa, Aragaki dude. You really have um, changed it all. Outside of this game. Is he even in Arena? Maybe he doesn't survive this game. Does he even join the party, I wonder? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai! This is unusual. Please, come in! So not only do you excel at providing support during battle, you are also quite skilled at gathering information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have an important favor to ask of you. What's that? I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. Oh, oh! Oh, well, very little of that was made public. I know. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. Are you a hacker, Fuka? To their system? Is that allowed? No, it's not. <laughs> I'll give you my ID and password. Then you won't be held accountable. But I need to know the truth in detail. Senpai. Of course, I'll understand if you refuse. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi. Aren't you resentful? 
Regardless of my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Well, you should have, but she seems pretty careful about it. I'm sure you must have at least a few complaints. Not really. Did you know my entire family is made up of doctors? My parents are the one exception. It gives them a bit of an inferiority complex. That's why they're so hard on me. I don't like being at home. Oh, Mitsuru gave her an escape. But here, I'm able to do something no one else can. I have a purpose. So no, I don't have any complaints. You're right. We can't do this without you. No one could take your place. Man, we've made more progress into Tartarus in the last two months than anybody else made in the last ten years. Uh, oh. Thank you. I'll see you later. So, Tartarus and the Dark Hour are on the way out, huh? No, that's a good thing. That's what we've been fighting for. So then... Why? Well, it's because you've never felt special before, Junpei, and of course you want to hang on to that, but... Come on, man. Damn it! Why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Wow. I can't believe we're already third years. Oh, hey, it's, it's Makoto and Morgana! This will be the last time we'll wear these uniforms and hang out after school. <sighs> Who cares? I just want to get into college and start having fun already. <laughs> I get it. My problem is me. I'm going on like fighting was my duty and all. Actually, it's just all I'm good at. Because without that, without that, I'm nothing. Oh, that's a rough realization. Well, that just means you have the mindset to make something of yourself, Junpei. <laughs> so much for being a hero. I can't fight worth the shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. Junpei all of a sudden became a really good character. the worst things. Am I stupid for trusting in something so blindly? Dad, I got this letter from you last spring. I must have read it a thousand times since then. To my family, ten years into the future. Oh, her dad died in the explosion, right. Tomorrow, I'll bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It will be stored in a time capsule. And sent to you in ten years' time. Yukari. It may be small now, but in ten years you'll be sixteen. Be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you always manage to greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Kirijo san appointed me head researcher. Oof. I'll be starting on a big project soon. It feels good to receive so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you, nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Oh, Dad. Yukari, I wonder, are you enjoying life? Do you have high hopes for the future? Do you still look towards tomorrow with excitement and wonder like you do now? No matter what happens in the next 10 years, I hope you're happy. And I hope this letter brings a smile to both you and your mother's face. This is a rough stream. Ichiro Takeba, March 6th, 2000. No matter what happens, huh? All I can do is believe. <laughs> I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom. Not ever. 
Sam's are coming up. It's almost time for the home shopping show. But first, hang out with Maya. No. Maya will rank up. All right, we'll feed the cat in a minute. Seven eighteen. Okay. Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartarus tonight too. Looks like everyone is studying in their own rooms. They're all keeping to themselves because they're busy studying, right? I hope so. Whoa, Me too. Yes. I can't stop thinking about it. What if they're hiding in their rooms because of something else? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure Persona 5 takes place in 2016. Don't the uh, days of the week match up to the dates of 2016? Alright, Tanaka, what are you offering? Oh, the max safety shoes! And SP items, nice. Oh, 10k. Glad I didn't spend the money on Tanaka. Thanks, kid. There were legal issues about the year? Huh. What kind of legal issues could you have about a year? Seasonal corn set. Spending the money on Tanaka instead of Tanaka, yeah. is purring loudly. It seems happy. It seems to have regained all its energy by eating the cat food. I think it'll be okay without me having to feed it anymore. Well, I'm willing to feed it. Benevolent protector. Nurse the cat back to full health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check on this cat every so often. I get tired of coming up with new things to cook for dinner. My family always complains when I end up making something similar to what they had for lunch. My friend told me that one time her kid who goes to GeckoCon bought a pork cutlet sandwich for lunch. And when she made a pork cutlet for dinner, he yelled at her. She told him, well, you should have bought some sweet pastries or apple strudel instead. The original that showed the cat got well by having its model increase in size to a humorously silly degree. That's fun. Good day. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. I see you have successfully fed the hungry cat. That is a great Thank you. Relief. I can feel relief in the very cockles of my heart. I hope it prospers forever and ever. That's sweet. Male summer garb. The max safety shoes. Very well. Wait, hang on. Good day. Oh, she wants to hang out. This time I would like to investigate a certain area known as Iwa Todai. If you have the time, then please come fetch me so long as the sun is out. Ask Elizabeth out. Why? I've been waiting for you to ask. Shall we be on our way? <laughs> Elizabeth! <laughs> Ooh, stairs that pose an obstacle. 
bow to those who dare to reach another floor. So, this is an escalator. You're supposed to go down the one that's going down, Elizabeth. A simple contraption at first glance. But one false step will leave one mired in an exhausting ordeal. To all customers, for your own safety and the safety of others, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Thank they you. caught her on security camera. Oh my. It seems that these customers may come to harm. We'd best exercise caution ourselves. And what is this? Please watch your step. There is a pitfall just ahead. Where is it? Is it the... Oh. Why, it's right over here. There, in the center of this fenced-off area, it's marked with eye-catching signs, proclaiming in bold print, Do not enter. Are you going to try to enter? Humans are frequently drawn to what has been forbidden. This is a crafty snare, one that defies the common notion. She thinks it's a it trap. Ha! <laughs> Flowing stairways, pitfalls employing high-level psychological tactics. Human authorities truly go to great lengths in their quest to preserve the town's law and order. I'm very moved by their dedication to the cause. Let us carry on. Our thoughts with the unsung heroes who give their love and lives to this town. Oh, this tantalizing fragrance. Can it be? Oh, she wants Takiyaki. Oh, you can figure out our secret ingredient with just a whiff? I guess you got a funky sense of smell to go with your funky sense of style, lady. Well, there ain't a law saying takoyaki shops can't cook other stuff besides octopus. So, how about it? Wanna buy some? I swear my takoyaki's so good it'll make your jaw drop. Cuisine so scrumptious that one's jaw can drop off? I imagine that would warrant urgent medical care, realistically speaking. But I would very much like a taste. Unfortunately, this is all I have on me at the moment. I do hope this is sufficient. Yeah, she dumped all her fortune into the fountain. You're buying that many? I have yet to see someone who has actually lost their jaw. That must mean that the ordinary citizen cannot easily afford these. Upon closer inspection, a single serving is only 400 yen. Oh. Well then, two orders of your finest takoyaki, please. Thanks. Here you go. And go She's ahead. taking this very much in stride. This distinct texture, the firm, chewy skin. There's no doubt about it. I must say... I'm surprised to see this used as a cooking ingredient. What is this? See what? The human mind. It is cursed to forever retain whatever knowledge it gains, whether good or ill. Forgive my reticence, but some questions are better left unanswered. Well, I'm never buying anything from this shop again. There appear to be several dining establishments around here. We must simply visit all of them. My first priority is to go to something called a net cafe, where one may use something called a soda fountain. This apparatus allows for an infinite combination of flavors by mixing various solutions. I wouldn't call it infinite, but... Just thinking about it gives me a sort of electric tingle across my tongue. Well, your tongue will be tingling from something else in a few minutes. Oh, I didn't like the combos, did I? We appear to have exhausted every dining option in this area. Oh, 
dear, is something the matter? Now that I think about it, you haven't eaten much since our seventh meal. <laughs> In any event, I must thank you for your delightful company. I shall certainly savor this experience. Okay. Uh, Wild Duck, walk out to the ramen place. Um, the beef bowl place. That's four. Takiyaki is five. What are the other two meals? If you don't mind, I'd very much appreciate it if you were to escort me again sometime. Yeah, sure. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Thank you for showing me around Iwata Dai Station. The fascinating rides, the dangerous traps, and, of course, the cornucopia of curious cuisine. Marvelous. The way people went about their lives there was quite different from those at Polonia Mall the other day. So that I might not forget what we saw, I'd like to recreate some of the dishes we sampled. <laughs> First, I must hunt for ingredients. <laughs> this will be so much fun. Book of the Ancients. You can only refuse Toth, the one who measures time. After I did this, I did the moon social link, which led to me having two more meals than I went and did the wild duck challenge that night. <laughs> Alright. Can't do the ocean yet. I'd like to see a pair of max safety shoes, which we'll be getting from Tanaka in a bit. Defeat a rare shadow with in Yabashan. Bring back a rustic coin. Uh, the creative persona with torch shot. Uh, stuff that just happens. Old document four at the end of Yabasha. Uh, I'm not high enough level to. Well, actually, I might be high enough level to fuse base Mithras and then level him up via uh, Arcana burst or whatever it's called. And Twenty persona fusions. Very well. All right. Uh, let's duplicate something. Oh, it's Sunday, right? Everything's restocked. Cool. Nope, not the that cafe. Damn it. Shinagawa Dungeon. I hope Tatsuya gets here soon. Maya is walking nearby. I'm not even complaining today or anything. So rare. But I have to tell Tatsu because he's my MMO partner. I'll be brave. I'm so lame. I'm blushing for reals. Oh no. Now I'm starting to get sweaty. Hurry up and tell me. Oh. 
Oh, hey, Tatia. <laughs> Maya seems to be having fun. I wanted to tell you last time, but I chickened out. Maya seems to be embarrassed. Oh, she's not going to hit on me, is she? I'm kind of interested in someone from school. He's kind of a student, though. Oh, no. Oh, God, I said it. None of the male teachers are even in my league, so I gave up looking for BFs at work. I never thought I'd fall for a student. Oh, no. It's kind of crazy even for me. What is he like? Mm, he's kind of quiet, but very mature and intense looking, and hot. I love this one emo face he makes sometimes. Who needs food and water when I got that? Maya seems happy. He's one of my own students, actually. He lives in a dorm because his parents passed away. Just trans... It is me... Oh, no. No. Maybe I can pull some strings to talk to him one-on-one. -on -one. I am his homeroom teacher. Oh, no, it is... It is her, Toriumi. Oh, by the way, you don't need to be jealous. It's just a little crush, okay? Tatsuya is the only game partner for Maya. No worries. I don't like her anymore. You can tell that Maya cares about me. Oh, no. I don't want to hang out with Maya anymore. I haven't made my appointment yet. I'm going to go to a salon. Weaver Cone will be head over heels for me the next time he sees me. Oh, no! Alrighty, Tatsuya. I gotta go. Let's think positive. Oh, I don't want to hang out with Maya anymore. Oh, Weaver Coon. Oh, I don't want to hang out with Maya anymore. That fucking sucks. Oh, that fucking sucks. Oh, hey, Mitsuru. I didn't mean to hide anything. I simply told you what you needed to know and omitted the details I deemed unnecessary. But I should stop making excuses. Regardless of my reasons, there's no denying that I kept some information secret. I... I was hiding it. Original was literally Toriumi's silhouette, but with a static filter. Man, that ruined the fun social link. Oh yeah, that would have given it away, wouldn't uh, wouldn't it? That portrait. Wait, she's actually a romance target? You can actually romance her? Oh, gross. Want to know my future? Then let us begin. 
Guns scatter to the billowing shadow. Arms reach in to grasp them. Their muzzles pointed at different shadows. Their triggers pulled on different occasions. Where do you point your gun? What will occur as a result of its firing? Can you collect all the guns that have been scattered? Let us hope that you find fortune in your destiny. Man, I'm straight up dejected now. Oh, that sucks. I was having so much fun with her character, too. Damn it. Okay, plot. Distract me from the grossness with plot. Thank you. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? You know what? I'll say fulfilling. That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. So why do you have all these missing memories, child me? Oh. Didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you. Okay, so my parents probably died in that explosion. Maybe the people with the potential are tangentially related to that incident because we're friends right death rank two death rank three good night Exams starting tomorrow, and they're cumulative, so it's hard to remember everything. You know, what if I fail again? I really wish the school would stop posting our names with our scores. Yeah, that's a pretty fucked up part of Japanese school culture. Yeah. Right? It's embarrassing if we're near the bottom of the list. 
Smart people like Kirijo Senpai wouldn't get it, though. Attention, please. Exams are starting tomorrow. Are you all ready? Summer vacation is just within reach, so you'd better study hard. Why aren't you excited? You know, summer vacation. Beaches, shaved ice. Woohoo! It's also the hottest time of the year, though. Don't go overheating, okay? Ah, that reminds me. There's an old expression for the hottest time of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. Stay awake. Wow. The dog days of summer. It goes all the way back to the ancient Latin phrase, the puppy days. Any idea where that phrase came from? Anyone? Well, it's because Sirius, also called the Dog Star, appears at the start of summer. People believed it brought droughts and misfortune. Here's hoping we can avoid all that, I guess. Have a nice vacation. Academics. can't afford to shop today. What? Oh man, how am I supposed to study for exams at a time like this? This sucks. There's no way I can get a good score. Here. So Maiko's the only social link. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, study. Because we're fa we've fallen behind on academics pretty badly. This will be called the pretend like I was just walking and when Kirijo Senpai comes out, I'll get close to her strategy. That's my plan, but I'm all nervous now. I know I'm overthinking this. My parents get on my nerves with all that you better study crap. I want to go out for summer vacation, but I don't know if they'll let me. This sucks. Well, get good grades and maybe they will let you. Cat's gone. Oh. I heard there's some scary shenanigans going on over those intertubes these days. How about that? I'm pretty in the know for an old guy, huh? If you drink a whole bowl of Hagakure soup, you can see the word win at the bottom. If you trace those letters with your chopsticks, I hear it makes you stronger in fights.
All right, do we hang with Michael or work on academics? I think I want to work on academics. Well, I won't rank up academics uh, again before the exam, so we've got as good as we're going to get. Uh, so let's hang out with Maiko. What's up? Have you seen Stripey? No. We were playing tag, but I don't know where you went. <gasps> oh, Stripey! There you are. Who's this? Why do you sound like you're being recorded in an echo chamber? No fair, I trusted you. Don't tease me just because I'm a kid. And who are you? Oh, just some dude. I'm Michael's friend. Ah, so you're the one she was talking about. I was wondering what you were like. Do you see yourself as her guardian? Or are you simply two children playing together? Hey! I'm hungry now! I want takoyaki! Takoyaki! You don't want the takoyaki from that shop, Michael. You can eat with us too, Stripey! No, I'll pass, thanks. See you later. Slowly walking off screen. Oh, I usually see him around the shrine on Sunday. Oh, new social link unlocked. I passed by on the way to cram school. Hey, something to do instead of hanging out with Maya. Nice. Okay, it's takoyaki time. <gasps> it's so hot I almost burned myself. I remember one time my dad burned his mouth on this stuff. Because I put too many in his mouth at once. He was like, oh. Dad hasn't been coming home much these days. Oh. It's my birthday soon. Do you think he'll come home and see me? Don't worry, he'll be there. He doesn't appear until mid-August. Okay. My mom always gives me presents on my birthday. She hasn't asked me what I want this year yet. Uh, if they really loved me, they wouldn't get a divorce. You're the only one who spends time with me. That hurts to hear because I've been ignoring you for like a month. Michael seems to have taken a liking to me. Oh, I have to go home. Today is laundry day. If I don't do laundry, the house gets really messy. See you later, okay? Come back. This seems tense. <sighs> What's wrong? You all hungry or something? Mm, not really. Well, somebody needs to break the ice. What do you guys think about frogs? An awkward silence fills the room. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Oh, yeah. It is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I 
wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikinis. We're on an island. Surely there's a beach here. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south. The water is crystal clear. Oh, uh, I'll be unlocking a place to get the thing from the ocean for Elizabeth, aren't I? But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine. But it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize it's an artificial here. island, huh? I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Rijoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He, he will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! Oh, he got his mojo back real fast. Beaches and bikinis? In the sky. <laughs> How about it, Hirijoku? How's her relationship with her dad? Well, but my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Well, we've got to have some time for... Uh... Tartarus between now and the next full moon. Senpai, I'm begging you. Could be a good bonding trip. All right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. The beach, huh? I should design a special training regiment. God damn it, Akihiko. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. God damn it, Junpei. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to <laughs> Wait, seriously? No, not seriously, Junpei. I'll be stupid. <laughs> Kirito Senpai, wait up! Uh... I just wanted to say sorry about the other Full day. of apologies this stream, Yukari, is. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? Her dad. My father. I had no idea. I guess he would have signed off on all the experiments that were conducted on her. Max safety shoes and instant curry! Hell yeah! Alright, let's see this instant curry. 50 SP, cool. Alright, let's see these magic shoes. Uh, plus 50 HP. Damn, okay. Well, we're gonna go show them to, um... We're gonna go show them to Elizabeth. 
Nice one. I gotta say, I didn't expect Ikutsi-san to come bearing good news. I figured he was here, here just to share more of his lame jokes. You have a study group. I'm so stoked for Yakushima, but that's one thing. You're as calm as ever, huh? I wish I had your chill. Oh, buddy. I'm, I'm freaking out on the inside after the news I got the other day. Are we able to go to Tartarus tonight? Probably not. No, definitely not. Seven eighteen. Okay. I'm gonna go look at my calendar. Okay. The sixth of August, the day before my birthday, is the next full moon. Four-day Yakushima vacation. Cool. Okay. We'll have Sunday to do Tartarus stuff and or sell and buy stuff. I want money for the Yakushima vacation. I'm gonna I'm gonna go sell unused gear. Steel pipe only a hundred. Oh, I guess it's a joke weapon. How many are you sure now? All right, I'll take that. All right, I'll take that. I'm not sure. All right, I'll take that. Sure, it's a deal. I'm not sure. It's a deal. Oh, we're not allowed to sell our seize gear. Okay, just to, so there's a weapon to fall back on in case we sell everything else. Sure, it's a deal. Alright, I'm here. Sure, it's a deal. You're handing that. Alright, I'll come in your hand. Alright, I'll tell many. Sure, it's a deal. Alright, I'll take that. How many are you selling? Sure. It's a deal. How many? Alright, I'll take that. How many? Alright, I'll take that. Uh, I think that's enough money. What do you got? He'll buy the cat food, of Come course. Out. So you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. So these are the sought-after Max safety shoes. They seem like an ordinary pair of shoes. Perhaps its intended purpose will only reveal itself in a crisis. In that case, I'll be returning these. I'm sure they shall prove more useful to you. Twilight sparkles. 
Mysterious person's autograph. Get an autograph from President Tanaka of Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. All right, next time I see him. Do you recall the online shopping world I spoke of in an earlier request? That seems to be related to a strange individual who often rambles along to a unique melody. Furthermore, he appears to be quite the prominent figure in your world. I've also heard that such prominent figures have a habit of handing out autographs on the streets. Since I am unable to leave my post, would you mind fetching me their autograph? By all means. Hey, if you want his autograph, I'll see what I can do. I guess, since we can't go to Tartarus, we'll do the study session with Shuji. But before we do that, I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be back in a minute.
All right, let's continue. About Yakushima, remember that you won't be able to go if you don't score well in your exams. Since everyone is here, why don't you have the third years overlook your studies? Yes, please. Goodbye. All right, I'll let the other second years know too. Oh, Junpei's gonna get left behind, isn't he? Hmm, with a ferry trip to Yakushima on the line. I hope you perform very well in your exams. God damn it. I'm fine helping out with studying, but wouldn't it be easier to focus without the distraction? They say studying with others grants benefits that can't be found alone. Hey, so if we flunk the exams, are we really gonna have to stay behind? Tell me that's a joke. It's no joke. As students, studying is our top priority. Failure will result in consequences. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Not naming names here, but don't get in the way, Junpei. What happened to not naming names? Y yeah, Yukari. Uh, I guess the fate of my trip depends on it. I don't really have a choice. I'll show you. I'll prove just how serious I am about Yakushima. My hand stops as I hit a tough question. What's the matter? Something you need help with? Uh, this... Vocabulary. Ah, scintillating. It can refer to either a literal sparkle or a metaphorical brilliance. Learn your vocab. Or, instead of going to Yakushima, you're going to Yakushimi back at the door. Oh my god. Yakushima? Yakushimi? Maybe that one's a little forced. A little bit, yeah. Wise cracks from June Pay are one thing. I didn't account for this. What are you writing Did down, Shuji? To test our ability to concentrate? Uh, yeah, I suppose that's not likely. Hmm. Yakutsuki sounds one up in me. I've gotta think of a killer comeback. Stop getting distracted. You need to concentrate on your studies. She's right. Gotta focus. Let's keep at it. Focus so hard I couldn't hear anything else. Oh, three points of academics. Nice. Very nice. Are you struggling with memorization? Nothing beats repeating it until you know it by heart. <laughs> I'm not struggling with it. You are, because you won't repeat my name. Beats? Heart? <laughs> not bad, Kirijo Kun. God damn it. What? No, that, that was not my intent with that statement. Your approval fills her with shame, Shuji. Well, if you're pulling out of the race, then I win, hands down. Kirijo Senpai defeated. Uh, this is giving me a headache. Despite the diversions, I'd say that was productive. Keep it up so we can all go to Yakushima together. Imagine if you had one, uh, one academic, rank one academics, and you went into this and you failed and you missed out on an entire segment of the game. First semester final exams begin today and will last for five days. This question seems familiar. Which form of magic is used to find water sources? Dowsing. How did the Witch of Agnesai gain the first half of its name? An error in translation. Right? Yes, okay.
Who designed the prototype for the katana? Hiro no Masakado. Sentence. What kind is it? Comma splice. More people in Tartarus. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. Oh no, it's just opening the path. Okay. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Love how it's a smartphone screen in her um in her talk sprite, but it's a regular flip phone in my hand. She must have smartphones from the future. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How have you been? Don't ask. Man, I can't wait to let off some steam. You gotta let loose during summer, you know? Last day of exams. The questions are just too easy. My pen won't stop moving. I'm done, baby. The dark days of testing are finally over. The sun is shining. I'm glad you've got your pet back. Okay, that was actually kind of assumed. Well, that pretty much answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yucca. He is absolutely not going to get to go, is he? Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Yep. Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. Sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. God damn it, Junpei. <laughs> very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick. I'm listening. So, uh, sorry. Thank you for the apology. Everyone's apologizing today. It's awesome. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool? Cool. All right. Let's get out of here. Freedom at last! What should I do now? Oh, Akihiko, when did you get here? Get down a notch, will you? You bounce back from things so quickly, Junpei kun. You know it. Oh, hey, Sonata san's here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new. Kid. Ooh, is it Ken or I guess? Another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka. Hey, Natsuki. What's 
wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay, then, never mind. No, I'm sure Funka will stay with you. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence, such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. I thought you would turn to dust if you were out in the sunlight, Shinji. Or Shuji. It is Ken. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. Now this is unethical as hell. Hello. Oh, Amonakun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom. She got in an accident. So now it's just me. Lots of orphans in this crew. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then... He's the new candidate? Really shaken, That's right. uh, Akihiko. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. Are you Akihiko Sonata-senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Was Miki Miki Amata? <laughs> Whew! Bye bye, school exams. Hello, summer vacation. Yakushima, here we come. I can't wait for Monday. Maybe I ought to hit up Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Oh, speaking of Polonia Mall, here, take this. Black Sword. Oh, are we going to figure out what to do with... Oh, the antique store opens up on the 18th. That's probably where I can turn in the gemstones. What's that? It's just a small reward. You all deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? It's called Mayodo. It just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure they'll be of great help to you. How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? Hmm, I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I'll let you take care of it from here. Does he know about the whole deal? Odo Antiques. How they'll be able to help me, I don't know. Guess the only thing left to do is find out. Welcome. Hello. You're actually kind of hot. Oh, are you in high school? And you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Ikatsuki. What? 
Who? What's that? Here, let me have a look. Hmm, I see. So you're one of the ones Kurosawa was talking about. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I can be of some assistance to you. As long as I have something like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. I can help with the crafting process, but you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quite unwelcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. Also, if you find any gems and the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. Oh, is the vendor trash stuff that we need to hold on to for weapon crafting? Also, hi, Arahabaki. Can I travel to my Ono Antiques to conduct an item fusion or item exchange? Item fusions involve expanding, expending one weapon part and a handful of required materials to create a unique piece of equipment. In the item exchange, the proprietor will take any gemstones off your hands in exchange for items. Materials that are used in item fusions can often be found in Tartarus, so you'll be able to collect them as you explore. Alright, what's it take? You've come at a good time. There is some new items you uh -huh. can Sword that changes attack affinity to light. Long sword. All stats plus one. 145 attack. Malachite and black quartz. What would you like? Resist dizzy. Okay. To make this, you'll need material. To make this, you'll need material. Okay, black sword is like? specifically stuff for my character. Uh, Nile blade is for everybody. To make this, you'll need material. Trade card. I'm sure this will prove to be useful. Can be used on an ally's persona. Ooh, incense can be used on ally personas. Interesting. It's been much more pleasant around here recently, and on Port Island in particular. Well, I guess that just shows how much time has passed. Shift boost. Raise attack when shifted to. Ooh. Okay. Plus HP cost of physical skills, magic skills. Bestows Mega Dola Own. Opal, Diamond, and Ruby. Both antiques and gems can lose their luster very easily if you don't take good care of Oh, that's of them. Michelle Ruff? Especially huh. during this time of year. Go on, look around. Bead chain. Here's all in ones besides KO for one ally. 100 almighty damage to all foes. Decreases attack of all foes for three turns. Defense, accuracy, evasion. Nikaja, Dekunda, Trafori, Homunculus, Teddy Bear, Japanese Doll, Kaleidoscope, Hubble, I know. Regular Bead, Snuff Soul. Alright, well, let's make a sword. What will it be? You're sure about this. So what now? Are you sure it's all yours? You gotta tell no. Everything good? Come again. Nice. Uh, Alright, can I use the incense?
can be used on an ally's persona. Ooh, okay. Cool. I didn't realize you could just use them from your inventory. Okay, so we're about to go on the, uh, um, hang on, let me, an emergency planning session was called today. It's dealing with the many cases of apathy syndrome over the last few months. Cultural anthropologists are investigating the causes and, all right, let's save. We're about to go on a trip that will probably take an hour and a half or two hours. Um, so we're probably going to call it here because it's getting kind of late uh, and we will pick this back up tomorrow um, so I'll read my schedule and get off uh, let me pull it back up before I do I would like to plug a couple of things first uh, if you're watching this on Twitch I have a YouTube channel I at Lore Weaver on YouTube or you can find it with the exclamation point YT command in Twitch chat uh, I upload all my streams to YouTube. Uh, everything that I've done in the last eight years is up there. I'm sure you'll find something else you want to watch. The rest of this playthrough, you can watch my Persona 5 Royal playthrough. Uh, there's a shit ton of stuff on there. You'll find something you like, I guarantee it. If you're watching this on YouTube, I stream live on Twitch almost every day at 1 p.m. EST. Um, uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash loreweaver15. The link's also in the description of the YouTube video. Come hang out and chat. Uh, I love having people to talk to while I play. It's a good time. Um, finally, I would like to plug my Patreon, uh, which you can find at patreon.com slash loreweaverstreams. Uh, the link's also in the description of the YouTube video or can be found with the exclamation point Patreon command in Twitch chat. Um... Uh, I make my living off of Patreon. It's my sole source of income. And I make enough to pay my rent and my bills, but I'm mostly just scraping by beyond that. And I'd really like to have some savings for medical emergencies, for if I need to replace stuff. You know, the works. Uh, and I haven't had that for a very long time. So if you could go to my Patreon and pledge a dollar a month or a dollar per stream or anything in between, pledge a bunch per stream if you really want to change my life, I would be grateful. I'm grateful to everybody who pledges, because you're the reason I have this job. You're the reason I can make content for you guys and uh, do what I do for a living, this job that I love so much. If it weren't for you guys, I would still be a telemarketer or a burger flipper or whatever else horrible thing that I would be doing. That would be hell, so thank you. I'm grateful. As for the schedule, uh, the 19th through the 23rd... We'll be playing more Persona 3 Reload. We're coming up on the end of the time I've allocated for it this month, uh, unfortunately. Um, and we won't be able to get back to it until April or May. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, on Saturday the 24th, uh, we'll be playing Yakuza 0 for a patron, unless the uh, Slay the Princess Pristine Cut comes out by then, in which case we'll be playing that. Um, and the next Sunday will be Hotful Boyfriend for a patron. Uh, so tune in for that. Uh, but for now, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.